What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tay Ming, and welcome to the Let's Mingle podcast. Today, I'm sitting in with a very special guest. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hey, what's going on? This drugs on shy. Everything big. That's drugs on underscore shy. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Period. Y'all, we already in here debating already. <laughs> she up here talking about girls is crazy. Yes. How? Y'all be in your feelings about everything. Everything. Even stuff that makes sense, y'all still in y'all feelings about. It. You know what, what I'm mean? saying? Stuff that makes sense, like what? Yes, yeah, like, I was just, you see, I answer the call, right? Mm -hmm. So clearly, you see how my phone's sitting? You can see this, Mike. <laughs> if I tell you I'm going to call you back when I'm done filming, why make a face and roll your eyes? Because that's still annoying as, as fuck. If I'm not right here doing something. You feel what I'm saying? But that's annoying as fuck, though. Like, you ain't, you can't tell me you ain't trying to call somebody and then because they doing something, it is annoying. Nah, I don't, I don't care that much. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Well, and it would be care. annoying if I sat home all day, too, wouldn't it? It would. Ooh, my bad. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all, it's Kyron. It's Kyron. <laughs> Kyron, this is me. Getting me in trouble on my own shit. <laughs> but no, I feel you, though. I just, mm, I don't think we all crazy, though. Yes. All of uh, us. Let me tell you, this is what happened, right? All of right? us is crazy now. F like, like, girly girls, crazy. feminine women, straight women, whatever. Let mm -hmm. me tell y'all what a lot of y'all like to do. Pretend that y'all not like other women. Like, oh, I don't get in my feelings. Oh, such and such do don't move me. So you might be better at hiding it. Mm -hmm. Or you might be a little bit less bothered, but still very emotional. I don't you just going to show shit. it. Because even if you one of them people that cut niggas off real fast, you emotional. Because mm -hmm. everything is upsetting you so quick that you can't even give a nigga more than one shot. You're cutting them off. You feel what I'm saying? All that is emotions. <laughs> but is that emotion or is that like boundaries? You set boundaries based off what? How <laughs> certain stuff make you feel. I mean, I get what you're saying. You uh, do have to be emotional to a sense, but it's like yeah. everything. But you saying emotional like it's over dramatic or something. A lot of it is. <laughs> A lot of it. Will be, lot of but, it okay, I'm not one of those girls though. For real, for real though. Uh, I just said that's what everybody say. No, 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 you for real, for real, for real, for real. What kind of girl are you? I would tell you, like, I'm not gonna hide my feelings. Like, yeah. if I feel away, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. I'm gonna cry in your face. I'm gonna do all that shit until I get it the fuck together. Like, yeah, I'm gonna say like how I feel. I'm You're not gonna sensitive. hold it back. Um, it depends on what certain shit. Like, okay, my biggest pet peeve with anybody Ooh, is when you don't stand on with the fuck you said. Uh, and I don't give a fuck how small it is. Like, oh, it you could wanna, be... Uh, no, you an Instagram post. Uh, oh, you you that post that be sharing God it. God is cussing nigga out this morning. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you an Instagram post. A nigga got to stand on it. I don't care if a nigga tell me he going to buy me McDonald's tomorrow. Nah, yeah. If you don't buy it, then you cut off. It's not, okay, Shit it's not happens. a cut off thing. It's just like, okay, because I do give grace. Okay. I am one of those girls, like, if I tell you, because I feel like you do have to tell people how to treat you. Yeah, yeah, facts. So I'm going to give facts. you a chance to get your shit together, but if I can see Consistently see that you don't yeah. come through or yeah. like your word, you just not standing on it. I ain't see, I can with work that. with you. I can work That's with you. That's what I'm saying. I don't like, I don't like I don't just like... consistently not stand on that shit. Because I'm going to look at you as an inconsistent person. Yeah, that's and like, you just, I can't trust your word. And if that's I can't real. trust your word, it's no You stand trend. on your shit? I do. I really do. Okay. I try. And if I don't, I'm not going to lie. Accountability. <laughs> don't you know. I feel like all the girls, accountability <laughs> is hard. Hard. It's hard, hard. as fuck. Yes. But it's like. Just be nice to me. Like, don't yeah. belittle me when you tell me what yeah, I did. Yeah, facts, Because I'm going to cry. Like, I'm going to cry. Uh, what's your sign? I'm a Capricorn. Get out of here. Boy, what you mean? I'm a Leo. Ooh. Ooh. My daddy a Leo. Ooh, but yeah. I know how y'all be. Y'all be with your chest poked out and yeah, shit. For, yeah, for real. You, you know, get no my better. daddy's side of the family, everybody a Leo. Oh, yeah. They, mm. they, they know what they doing then. I like them already. You no, know, they they just prideful as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, prideful I'm, as fuck. I'm prideful, but I don't work on my shit a lot because I'm mm. getting older. You feel what I'm saying? How old you I'm 29. I turned 29 in August. Okay. Yeah, so I'm getting older, so I just realized that, you know, that pride kill a lot of shit. Like... I don't lost a couple people I wish mm -hmm. I would have kept, you know, out of pride. Like, relationship-wise? Like, yeah, like, fuck you, you feel what I'm saying? Ooh. Then later on, I'm like, damn, I slipped that up, and now I'm out here messing with a bunch of hoes on light, you feel what I'm saying? Because mm. I was too prideful with the females so I did. So what you like, do with that regret? Because I be want to know, because I'm not going to lie. I don't really regret any nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't regret it. But, like, 
Um, if anything, the only thing I regret is not leaving sooner. Yeah. But that's because I'm a person. I yeah. will keep, if I fuck with you, if I'm in love with you, I'm going to give you something. Oh, yeah, chances. me too. I got it real bad. Oh, my God. And real, I be feeling dumb as fuck. But when I'm too. done, I'm done. Yeah, that's how done. it is. I fuck with you till I hate you, for sure. No, for real. Yeah, like because the thing. What do you mean, who am I? We going to get there. With the boss talk and all that? Yeah, she said who she was. <laughs> oh, I just said I'm gonna let her introduce herself, and she just stopped there, so I just carried on the show. Yeah, I was just. I'm saying, all, that... all right, oh, we gonna get into yeah, it. Okay, yeah, yeah. We... Well, me. Y'all immediately got. To that's because we, nah, we was already talking. That's because we was already talking. Yeah, but okay. I think it'll be good because all the other episodes. Yeah, yeah. we gonna get yeah, there though. Okay, we gonna okay. get there. Yeah, <laughs> not nah, interrupting the conversation. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, well, I, let me say this. I only regret it one one person, but it's such a big regret that it feel like 10 people on God. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Cause did, did you try to get up at? I did. And every time, it kind of like goes sideways. You know why I go sideways? Let me tell you. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> I did her so dirty that she wants to give me another chance, but she's requiring requiring some astronomical shit. Like what? What's astronomical? Because like, y'all be... I'm supposed to... And this is stuff I naturally do, but mm -hmm. I got to do this shit on a level times... 10 and also still deal with you being very cold towards me mm. until you feel like warming up. So yes, I'm, you, want right you, you want me to see you want me to see you money to pay your bills. You want me to stay in the house with you. You want me to take you on dates, do all this shit. Mm. But throughout all that, you still got an attitude. You feel what I'm saying? So it kind of get discouraging. You feel mm -hmm. me? Especially like after girls go through that stage where they come out all healed and shit, mm -hmm. and then the nigga that broke you try to re you know run it back nah, i done been through this too it's, it's so hard to you know penet penetrate yeah. and when i'm ready to love it's like i'm ready to love right now like bitch i'm not trying to wait right, a year yeah, if you wait for you to long, stop being I'm mad not give yeah, a fuck like, i'm all. over it because i yeah. feel like everybody make mistakes you feel what i'm saying but it depends <laughs> Everybody make mistakes, but fucking like three, four bitches. I'm no, like, that ain't just see, look, look, there you mistake, go. Man. Let me tell you something. You just judge me by my cover. I look like a hoe. No, I'm just saying that happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> I have done that, but I'm not really a cheater. But okay, uh -huh. so boom, I was in an eight year relationship. Mm. We broke up two years ago, right? Mm. So when we broke up, it's like for whatever. I'm 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 that guy. Like you feel what I'm saying? Mm. So when people deal with me, it's just automatic. Like mm. my energy good. I'ma take care of you. I'ma protect you. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not draining none of that shit. Mm. Like so you get like a real healthy type of love over here. So it make people become obsessed because they're not used to it. You feel what I'm saying? I so see that. in that obsession, now you're trying to rush me to do things that I'm not ready, ready for. To do. I'm twenty nine, I've had Two girlfriends my whole life, like real deal. This my girlfriend. You going home, meeting my family. So just because we've been talking for six months and you feel like we in love and we never going nowhere, that mm -hmm. don't mean I'm ready for you to be my girlfriend. You feel what I'm saying? But that's a lot for somebody to still not be your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, a nigga can't take me home. A nigga can't make me cook in front of his mama and he be like, oh, no, we still vibing. Like, Because look, this is the thing, right? That's a lot. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to be mad as fuck. Listen, I'm going to tell you why I'm like that. Because we live... Lasagna, I bitch. love lasagna. I Listen, fuck with lasagna now. We live in an era where... I got to take this off. Everybody got... Look at you. This is shots. Eat it. Everybody got ulterior motives. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, like, even if we doing a lot of stuff together, emotionally and stuff, I'm still moving slow. Because mm -hmm. I never know what... You know what motherfucker motives is, and I'm not no bum ass nigga. I, you know mm. what I'm saying? I never been, even when I didn't have shit, it never gave bum. Like I'm gonna get me some money. On. You feel did. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's obvious. You feel me? Yeah. And I'm popular. I'm not no ugly nigga, so I don't want to end up with somebody that's dating me for all the wrong reasons. reasons. And you falling in love with a bunch of shit mm. that if I lose all this shit, I get in a car accident, and be ugly tomorrow. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, I, I could get robbed and have no money. You feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Okay. So I don't want because I'm nice to you and because I'm spoiling you and because I'm funny, da 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 da. And because, mm. you know, girls like having shit that a bunch of other bitches like. I don't care what nobody say. Don't no girl want a nigga that girl, nobody wants. Right Come on now. You shit. know what it is? It's come still a girl. So, <laughs> <laughs> so girls want somebody that, so all that shit attract people. And it's like, yeah. damn, do you know anything about me? 
Like, mm. all this shit went away, and it was just, you know, no mm, glitz, yeah. no glamour. Could you still stand in the paint and love me on the same, same level, level and show me the same type of respect that you show me when I'm paying all your bills, when I'm that nigga that a 10 other women in the room want to talk to? You feel what I'm saying? People don't think it. about that. I think, yeah, across the board, that is. Yeah, something. you feel you what I'm saying? So I like about. taking my time, and I like longevity, too. But I want is shit it because stick you around. traumatized, too? Because yes. it, it's giving trauma. <laughs> like, as I'm talking to you, it's giving trauma. Very, yeah, yeah, I'm traumatized, yeah, for sure. It's Oh, yeah, you had I'm a lot of material girls or something. Man, it's, you know, so crazy. I think even like, like, boom. So when I was with my ex for the eight years, right, mm. I had just got out of jail. You feel mm. what I'm saying? So my ex first got me. I didn't have shit. You feel me? Like, I won't allow anybody to use me. But I have had people. I think that's where the trauma come in. Because being with somebody for eight years who I know I could trust, who was with me when, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't had nowhere to live, none of that shit. And then now being thrown to the sharks where it's like, can I trust you? That's the issue for mm. me. You feel what I'm saying? Because I was just with somebody, no matter what we went through, this girl got me straight out of, like, straight out of jail. I didn't have a pot to piss in, window to throw it out okay, of. Okay, so you expecting loyalty to, like, yes. the Yes, you feel what I'm saying? So Shit. these days, it's the That's other way around. I got to buy you, and then you going to show me that you fuck with me. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So you used to it being the other way the around. The other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel that what I'm saying? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I and it's, like, it's like, that. I'm not trying to come in doing zero, but right. I'm not going to meet you on Thursday and rent due on Friday. I'm going to yeah. pay that shit too. I ain't going to lie. Motherfucker, you know somebody rent by the fourth day you met them. That shit crazy. Listen. Listen. That's crazy. Listen. That's crazy. And it, it, so, so <laughs> as a nigga, could you imagine how that would make me feel? Yeah. Like, kind of like, damn. It's what you talking yeah, to me for. Like, is that shit. what it is? Like, mm. why are you mentioning bills on day four? Boy. Relax. Like, what I are you should doing? never know that. Yes. Oh, and God. then it also look like I know you talk to a bunch of other niggas. Yeah. Because it's I like know what you're here for. Yeah. yeah. It's too quick. It's too easy. you too comfortable. This is what you do. Yeah, you're a man eater. I'm good off that. Yeah, not a man eater. Yeah, I'm good <laughs> off that. You look like a man eater. Hold on, who, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not I like that. I know you be running game, You though. know what's crazy is I'm like really loyal. And people really? swear. Like, I don't know if it's a state. You're a Capricorn too. Y'all liars. Like, no, motherfucker. liars go yeah. all as fuck. Y'all liars, though. They should defend me back because... <laughs> no, for real, though. I'm not like that. I swear to God. Like, I think my aesthetic give... Like, yeah, it do. It's my how you look. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. But I swear yeah. to God, I'm too yeah. different. Like, I know the girls be saying they different, but I'm different. Yeah, I'm a good partner, yeah. for real. Like, mm -hmm. when I'm with somebody, I'm really with them. Yeah. Even when I'm single, I don't care the hoe. Like, I stay inside, yeah. ask any of my well, friends. you talking that shit? I don't go outside. Yeah. I don't do none of that. Okay. Like, I'm on my mind, I don't see, go girl, outside. See, girl, see, a woman like you is the woman that I lost. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So that's why I'm like, oh, and I know a lot of niggas she, that lost me, Yeah, baby. yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and she, they crying. She bad as hell. Shit to the grave. <laughs> she got her shit together. She bad as hell. She an entrepreneur. She supports you. Like, she tick every box. And because you know, usually I'm just being real. If a girl is like that, they ugly. You feel what I'm saying? That's why they lame. These niggas be fucking grateful yes. because that so when you get a bad bitch, bitch that's a good bitch. Talk that shit. Ooh, shy. Talk that you feel shit. What I'm no, for real. Because that's my biggest thing. Like, okay, I ain't without putting too much of my business <laughs> out there, right? So I be sometimes, you know, my nigga, we going through it. I be telling my nigga, you really blessed, yeah, like, cause yeah. I'm really a bad bitch, yeah. and I can fuck with. Shot said you blessed. Period. Yeah, just like that. Okay, <laughs> and, it, and it's stamp, baby. You see that? Yeah, but no, nah, for real, I be telling him like, nigga, you blessed for yeah, real, like yeah, that type of shit, like that. Yeah. That's, I'm sorry, but a lot of ugly bitches is doing yeah, that. Like, so to facts. find somebody that look good, still care about you, past, like you said, the materialistic shit, it's, it's, that's it's real. still fucking with you. Because mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I've been ride or die for a few niggas. Yeah. Like, for real. But you gonna end up with, like, that. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You but know that's what I'm my saying? biggest fear is, like, I feel like these niggas be taking the best out of me. Yeah. And by the time I find that person. You ain't gonna be the same yeah, person. Yeah, because I shit see suck. it, like... Okay, I had an ex, right, three years, mm -hmm. and he chipped away a lot. And I was yeah. young, too. I was, yeah, like, yeah. 16... Stop dating him when I was like 19. Okay. So I don't know. I was still young, so I give myself that. But it's a lot of things that I don't do anymore because yeah, cause of, it's like what other yeah, niggas don't do. Yeah, some shit, and I'm like, well, damn. Yeah, like, that's how I feel. Yeah. yeah, for real, for real. Because it's like you know, I've been on investing my time or, or like change my ways. Because it realistically like. A bitch always been the easiest thing for me to get. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always vice been, versa. Yeah. Nigga ain't never been hard <laughs> it's to get. It's not hard. Like, this motherfucker is Listen. easy to get. You feel what I'm saying? This is hard to so keep. So when I'm going out my way to, like, be loyal and to do what I'm supposed to do, like, mm. as your person, and you, like, play with me, that shit just, it's, 
horrible. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So like shit like that make you not want to fuck with people. Like girls tell me all the time, like shy you funny acting, shy you hard to get up with. Woo 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 woo. And I'm just like, cuz man, when I was like letting y'all have that access, it was like ew. Like get the fuck yeah, away from me. Like y'all make you. a nigga be. A horrible nigga. And, of course, mm. I could be a hoe. I have been a hoe. Like, come on. But that is not. <laughs> it's like, come on. For me. <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? When I'm with somebody, that's not what I'm on. Yeah. Like, you feel what I'm saying? You like, real different talk. Vibe. Yeah, you feel me? So mm. that's what I um expect back. And I'm an honest nigga. Like, people always tell me, like, you too honest. Mm. You feel me? No, I, I ain't gonna lie. I hate a too honest What nigga. is too honest? Too what you mean? Shut the fuck up. Don't tell wow, me that. you sound like my sweetie. No, for real. She be like, saying that to me. Like, why the fuck would you say that? Like, why would you say that? Because, okay, I I want you to be honest, right? But I don't want you to be too <laughs> honest to where you tell me something and that shit just run back in my head. Like, damn, this nigga. Like, it's like, I want you to feel comfortable but never feel that yeah, comfortable. Yeah, like, facts. that's some shit you tell your homeboys facts, facts, so facts. you kick it in, but yeah, to I do tell shit me like that, that, yeah. Like, me and my sweetie me? stay getting into it yeah, cause like, she be like damn child, you gotta watch you your mouth you can't be <laughs> and it just be coming out and I be like no, damn you gotta stop. trying to cover that shit up but it's like damn it's like when you asking for the truth I'm just trying to you know give, give all that you. shit and my man I smoke a lot of weed I do a lot of business so, so my memory mean. bad so I don't want to tell half the story and then later on we be talking about it and, like, and I add a piece to shit. it and she like hold the fuck up that happened to me last night I'm telling her like yeah cause me and this girl text and she was like before you said y'all just DM'd, I'm like, see, that's what I get, omitting yeah. shit, and now I don't told on myself. You feel Ooh, what I'm saying? Child, see, I would have like, jumped happens. on you for so. that. I would have jumped on you for that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that. I ain't gonna lie. People think that's crazy, but that's what I mean by like people saying shit, yeah. and then it's like it's a whole different story. Yeah, I don't like that because I'm like, <laughs> what? Why you ain't said it the first time? Because now it's like, what else were you hiding or what else yeah, were you trying see, to like so change up? That's why I just say omit. everything. Oh, yeah. Like which 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 poison you want? You want all of it or you want no? But see. That's why it's called balance. You gotta have balance. That's right. You gotta life, have balance. Life is about balance. Yeah, it really yeah, is. Nah, real it's talk. hard, but I think that's like the whole key to life. Yeah, is you gotta talk. find that fucking balance. Cause nah, that a too honest nigga can't make it over here. <laughs> I'm gonna just be honest with you. It's certain shit I don't wanna hear. I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. Period. Mm -mm. I don't wanna know that shit. But it is some things I think you should be honest about. And I think in certain relationships, people yeah. are so used to not being honest that when a motherfucker give a slight bit yeah. of the truth, it's like. <gasps> Yeah, or it's like, it come off like, I'm being cold or I'm being nonchalant. Mm -hmm. But I always tell, like, females that I'm dealing with, I want the whole truth. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because and my thing is, truth. I feel like we could come back from anything except me not trusting you. You feel what I'm saying? So even if we just fucking around and we not in a relationship, but you got another nigga that you like as well, but y'all not in a relationship, that's something you could tell me. You feel what right. I'm saying? Because... I could get past that or I could be like, damn, I like this girl so much that I'm finna keep doing my bit one and take her from this nigga or I don't want to deal with it and I'm gonna fall mm. back. You know what I'm saying? You and that nigga might not work. We might could rekindle. But if you lie to me about it, like my trust so fucked up that once I don't trust you, I just don't trust, trust you. you. you I'm kind of the same way. Like it's literally damn near a rap. Like it'll be 10 yeah. years down the road before I'm coming out my mouth saying I trust you. You know what I'm saying? So this is my question to you. If you know you don't trust somebody and you like on that line, do you just straight up leave? Or like if you in a full blown committed mm -hmm. relationship, like I'm realizing like, damn, I'm not really fucking with this. Like I'm not trusting her how I used to. Yeah. You leave straight after that or no. do it take you, man? Yeah, I be I'm a lingerer. You know what I'm oh, saying? You yeah, because I never um I got a problem giving up on people, you know? Because yeah, yeah. I don't really like I don't I don't like when people give up but on like, me. But like linger, like you linger messing with other people or just nah, staying just in the with that person. No, like, I, do that I know then. some shit yeah. over. Okay. Like me and my ex, we was together eight years. I swear to God, the last two years, you we knew both knew that shit. We both knew that Ooh. shit. You know what I'm saying? And we just was like, damn, we love each other. Damn, we've been together so long. That's damn, so it might change. Yeah, you feel me? Because you're really losing your friend. Yeah, like, man, nigga, I done came with you with hard shit. Yes. We all of my 20s. Shit. All of my 20s. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you did say you yeah all, all of my crazy. 20s. Like, for real, for real. So the shit kind of, it's hard to, you know, let that go. So, like, mm -hmm. I, I lingered for two years, and I feel like, you know, people change. So, like, damn, if I stick it out and I say this, say that, mm -hmm. then you might change. But I'm going to be real with you, man. I think that relationship taught me more than anything that people can love you a lot and still not love you enough no. to be what you need them to be. Mm, and it could, it could kill people down bad to lose you. Like, even, like, me and my baby mama, like, I know it killed her as well as it killed me for us to have to break up. You feel what I'm saying? But the shit that I didn't like and the shit she didn't like, neither one of us changed. Yeah. So even though we love each other, we clearly 
ain't loving each other enough or in the right way because if we <laughs> was and we feel like the disconnect and we could tell that the end is coming coming we will fix that fix it. because now that i'm single when it's a girl that i'm in my feelings about and it's like damn i don't want her to walk away i'm gonna fix, fix it. the problem no i can see that but my thing is so going back to that situation mm -hmm. how you said it you know y'all were realizing you yeah. ain't changing i ain't changing yeah, facts I feel like that's the hard part for people because they want to hold on to each other so bad yeah. that they willing to keep taking each other through the yeah, mud facts. and not and change. No, yeah. And see, that's that's something I've been through too many times. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I be trying to change, but then I ain't going to just blame it. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> but I do be trying to change, but I'm a mm, kind of tit for tat. Yeah, that's my problem. That's my toxic trait. I'm very tit, tit for, for tat. tat. I think... <sighs> I am too, but the problem with me is when I'm getting my tat, like I'm gonna take it so far. So that's why, like, don't no. do nothing to me because, like, Ooh, you I might have just it. walked on the sidewalk. Like, I'm in the middle of the street with this shit. Cause why would you play with me? Like, I'm not him. Like, I feel mm. like when somebody, when a girl do something to me, like you trying me, like you acting like you forgot. So let me give you a well, reminder. See, that's kind of toxic. Okay, because I feel like it's levels to this shit. <laughs> Ain't no levels, it's man. No, you step on see, that sidewalk, I'm niggas. in the middle of the street. I'm not gonna lie, that was a problem in my relationship before. Mm -hmm. It's like this nigga kept taking it too far. Like, <laughs> okay, we didn't got past that. You taking it too far. <laughs> like, and then it's like you want me to forgive you for the same shit you doing to me. Yeah. But facts. then it's like if I do it to you, you you yeah. can't show that same grace. I don't like this. So shit. let me hold on, let me tap in on that real quick, right? Yeah, please. I am a strong believer that no, you shouldn't be a carpet, but you can't do what a nigga could do. I get that. It's okay, worse okay, when okay. a woman do it and it hurt oh, more. Hell because nah. listen, let me tell you something. Hell nah. Anything, <laughs> anything nah. a, a female is doing is. For the most part, unless she just a hoe, it's because you feeling somebody. You feel what I'm saying? What because you mean? Like you think I'm doing some shit? Like, okay, if your nigga do something, you what you go text a nigga? Mm. Like that's something you've done in the past. Oh, like go off and yeah, text a yeah, nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, no. nigga, you piss me off. So what you do if your nigga cheat on you? If my nigga cheat on me, yeah. oh, we're done. <laughs> like, it ain't even no, it ain't no talking. Like, okay, my first relationship, mm -hmm. the nigga cheated, I ain't gonna lie, I stayed. But everybody gotta go through that yeah, one time. Facts, and facts. I was young as hell, like yeah, I said. Yeah. But after that, I, cheating is a non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable? Because I feel like, first of all, if she was really like that, yeah. you would have been left yeah. me to be with her. Yeah, that's facts, that's so facts. So she ain't really like that, yeah. and you ain't finna lay over here with me. You not finna have the best of world. Like, yeah. I just can't lay up thinking like, damn, this nigga fucked a whole nother bitch yeah. and still fucking Yeah, me. you got me thinking. I think that right now in my life, at this age, if I was to have a girlfriend cheating, would be non-negotiable for it, me too. It is. It's I haven't had anybody cheat on me in eight years because I've been in a relationship so I don't know like where yeah. I stand with it but I'm going to be real with yeah, you. I don't have nobody that I know of but you know how they need <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've been cheated on, but... You a cheater? Mm-mm. When I'm the last not. time you cheated? Well, I have cheated before. I'm not going to lie. When the last time? I asked you to cheat before. Um, but you said, was well, I a cheater? I'm not a cheater, but I had cheated. I was just cleaning it up. Uh -huh. But what I'm saying is... <laughs> I'm not a liar. I'm not, I done told a couple lies, though. Listen, okay, when did I cheat? It was on the nigga that I was with for three years. It was the same situation. Okay. Basically, he know about this. I've been yeah, told him. Yeah. But basically, we were together, and like I said, that nigga brought me through a lot of shit. He cheated on me the yeah. worst way. Too. Yeah, facts. And I stayed with him, and it just got to a point in our relationship, like, we both knew it was over. Yeah. But one thing about it, I wasn't a sloppy cheater. Like, I wasn't sucking another nigga dick and kissing him in the mouth. Yeah. Like, we Ooh. being him was like, yeah, I was not like that. Yeah. Like, we were already not intimate. Like, you know that yeah, stage yeah. where you yeah. just not yeah. having yeah. sex. Yeah, two years worth of it. Yeah, that shit yeah, be Yeah, like, you not intimate. And you be like, damn, you still pretty, but it's like, when I see yeah. you, I'm just not like, damn, I'm on like, yeah. yeah. I want to lay you down. Yeah, that's shit. real talk. So that's yeah. what was going on. We weren't having sex. And I didn't, obviously, it wasn't the thing where I went out low. He cheated on me, so I'm going to cheat on him. <laughs> it was just, uh, you know. I if know. it come my way and I'm feeling it, I'm going to go with it? Yeah, and it was a person I had prior history yeah. to. So uh, it kind of was yeah, like. Yeah, y'all love that. But it was I heard like, every girl got somebody on standby. I don't think that's true. Like, even I if y'all don't talk to him or something, you know who like your who next you nigga go gonna be. Yeah, or who you could go back to. Mm, Is that true? I mean, I'm gonna be real. These niggas so easy. You can always spin back on yeah. a nigga. That ain't hard. See, that's why I love telling them. I'm put, man. I'm put but up, you, man. It's not hard to spin back, but, like, me, do I want to spin back? Nah. Because yeah. if I left, I left for yeah, a decent that's, reason. I'm real big on that, too. Like, yeah. I always tell girls, like, don't let me get to the point where it's a rap because, like, no funny shit. I love God to death, but God himself can't make me re-fuck with somebody I'm when I'm done. done with it. Like, when I put that shit up on the hanger, we closing the closet. That's how it's it is a rap me. for me. I don't care I how, much how much I, I went through yeah, in the relationship, exactly. too. So it's like, like, it ain't nothing to even think about. Like, I'm, if I left you, I've already 
thought about. Yeah, you did too much. Yeah, you but did I, too I've fucking already much. Lost, I've already thought about what it would be without. It, yeah, and I'm gonna so be lonely I'm okay for a little minute. It. I'm gonna be sad. Yeah, and that's why I be telling niggas like, don't play with me, because when I'm done, I'm done. I'm yeah. gonna give you chances, and I think that's why a lot of niggas be thinking they can keep playing with me because yeah. it's like I fuck with you, I love you, I yeah. want to be with you, but then it's like on the back end, I feel like you just. Taking advantage yeah, of it, but you're yeah. not really realizing, like, nigga. All you, you doing keep, is making it harder you, for you. All you doing yeah, is making yeah, me yeah, want to cut you the fuck off on the end. Like, you facts. making this easier for when I'm ready to get the fuck on. Nah, that's real. And I'm not coming back. Yeah, like, that's nah, why I that's say, real. if I close that door on you, baby, I'm not, yeah. I'm not coming back. Yeah, and I put yeah. that on everything I love. I put that on God. Yeah. Jesus sandals, nigga, I'm not coming back. Nah, that real. Yeah, my ex was like, um, <laughs> he's like, I broke up with you because you would have never broke up with me. And, you know, I'm telling her, like, damn, I wish you would have never did that because now there's no way we ever going to realize if we made progress mm. if we could make progress or something because now to me that that book has closed and I, yeah. I got like um my dad died when I was young mm. and I went to jail when I was very young for a yeah. long time so I got some abandonment issues because I was away from a family for a long time lost my daddy so like when somebody leave me and I haven't left them after they don't did shit to me or whatever it's really like I feel abandoned so that also closed it for me too you feel yeah. what I'm saying like it'll make me not fuck with you again because like you, you left me when I needed you the most, most type shit you feel what I'm saying I think I have a little bit of abandonment issues too yeah. but I didn't go through anything that was super yeah. Yeah, yeah, traumatic, fast, fast, fast. Like but them. we all got reasons well, yeah, we feel we ways, yeah. But that's good that you aware that. Yeah, some hell yeah. Like, I ain't got shit wrong with me. Oh no, nah, man. Yeah. Listen, I'm so I I'm so like in tune with myself, like on God, and that's why like um. Of course, sometimes, like, I thought my ex was my soulmate. So, of course, sometimes it hit you. Like, damn, like, I was with Do this person. Do we need to call her? No. Nah. That's, that's what it's giving you. <laughs> Do we need Hell to call her? Nah. <laughs> nah, Hell I thought no. you was my, <laughs> I thought you was my soulmate. But then sometimes I'm, I'm like, grateful for the breakup because mm. this is the most I've grown in my life. Life. And I, I realized, like, I was so stagnant. And it wasn't just because of her but it's because i just wanted to keep proving and proving and proving i love you i love you i love yeah, you we can make it we can make it through anything da, 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 da. and it's like in real life like yeah love gonna go through shit but that shit supposed to be easier than that you feel what i'm saying yeah. like yeah we got hard times but to always be feeling like i'm trying to prove to you what's up with us you feel what i'm saying mm. it make you forget about yourself you feel me yeah. Like it, 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 it holds you back. That. You feel what I'm I saying? I see that in a sense, and I feel like I've done that to niggas. Yeah. Like especially when they fuck up. Yeah, facts. Kind of going back to what you said about um, one of your exes and the one that you regret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's very hard for me to spin back and let a nigga yeah, come back facts. in. So I am kind of stank. Like nigga, yeah, like, yeah. But sometimes you gotta be yeah, like that. You uh -huh. got to. But to a degree, I do feel like if you're gonna be with somebody, at some point you do have to open up. Yeah, you gotta facts. let them. Yeah, come exactly. In it's and, like that. Damn. And then what crazy is like she would op like get mad at me if she thought I was with a girl. But it's like yeah, I'm not even with shit. a girl. But you got an attitude about everything else that I should be because mm -hmm. I'm doing all this shit to I like do, you know get back right. Mm -hmm. And you still so angry. And you know what I think yeah. made me even matter is because we didn't break up because I was cheating. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We broke up because she was growing and I was stagnant. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, she, and she okay. wanted to go further and I just wasn't at that point what? in my life. Like, I'm fresh out of another relationship. I'm just doing this with you because I know you a catch and I do care about you and I don't want you to go nowhere, but you rushing my but process. But you don't think that's a little selfish, though? Yes, and I told her it was. Okay, because I, I was about to say, that so, is a little selfish yeah, now. When I spent the block, I told her it was. I'm like, yeah, you but know. But you had to spend the block. <laughs> the block because me i'm not gonna let you spin the block so you better speak now forever hold your peace yeah, when you leave me yeah. nigga. you better tell me oh everything God, yeah i should but sometimes it's like a nigga a few weeks months to yeah. figure out get their mind right yeah and that's mm -hmm. what it did for me and like you know she she like okay yeah i'm gonna give you a chance and this is after like i'm sending so i i'm prideful but if i love you i've loved such a small amount of people in my life that's mm -hmm. not my family that if i love you i really don't got no pride so like mm -hmm. i'll beg like i'm one of them niggas i don't give a fuck i will text you 10 15 times oh i like make that you feel, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. That, I like that. make you feel like Never you're the only <laughs> Never, I like that. make you feel like you're the only like this nigga really oh, serious so you love oh, oh let me get no. that you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, if I want you back, I'm going to make sure there's flowers at your house every day. Like, oh, yeah, I'm finna wine and so dine that shit. So you going to do that up until the point? No, I'm a sweet nigga in general. You feel what I'm saying? But I put it on a larger scale if I know up. I fucked up. You feel what I'm saying? I think that's normal. Yeah, 
Yeah, so like you supposed niggas. to Some go. niggas still be acting yeah, like that. Yeah, no, no, that's what I don't like. If you fucked up, just stand yeah. on it. And yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah. I be on my homeboys about yeah. that shit. Like, like you can't get mad at your girl, like, cause you got caught. My right, homeboys do you shit got like caught, that. And, you I, like, yeah, and it's and like, damn, it you me gonna beat her mad? You making it worse? You feel me? Just take them lashings, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? And get that right. No, for real. Cause I feel like that's what's wrong with niggas. Like niggas want to play the blame game. It's like how the hell you blame me? Cause you ain't stand on your shit. Yeah, no. By saying niggas that don't stand on their shit. Yeah. That's my biggest little kids, baby. Though. That's true, but a lot of little kids be in their big ass age uh-huh. too. So that's the problem. How old you? Is? I'm 22. Oh my god. I'm a baby. Uh, but, I, but I'm like I feel like I'm my sure. sweetie 23. Really? Yeah. There's hope out here for the youngest. Though. Listen, but it's so crazy. Cause I'm like, damn. Ever since I've been single, mm-hmm. I just been fucking, fucking with goddamn young ass girls, mm. and actually they. Are a little bit better than the older ones. Cause okay, you can't teach your old dog new tricks. That's I do true. believe in that. That and is then, true. Ah, I can't believe you said that on no, this for fucking real. mic. <laughs> no, no, for real though. I'm saying that to say that it could either it's fifty fifty. Cause you can meet a young girl that then probably dealt with plenty of people, mm-hmm. especially if they dealt with men yeah. and they older men. Yeah, Sometimes uh-huh. they be on that manipulative uh-huh. shit. Uh-huh. So they be traumatized, but. If you catch them young, I ain't gonna say you could just train a bitch like nah, a dog. No, but you could bring them but up. But you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can bring them up a yeah. little bit. You know, uh-huh. you can kind of. Yeah. I want to say have your way because I yeah. hate that word. Ooh. I hate that. <laughs> oh, I know you like that. That's toxic, y'all. You ain't gonna say. <laughs> I do like that. I no, do like that's that. That's toxic. Yes, I do like no, that. No, like, but in a way, it's you like. You can groom them a little bit and not groom yeah. you so I can control Told you, you, but so you can be a good woman to a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but be- I think it has to be under the umbrella of like you actually trying to train me to be a good person yes. not just what you want yes, me to be exactly yeah that's just real. yeah around, in general yeah, yeah. Just, you know and that's what i do principles. like anybody i date i'm dropping jewels and you could take them with you even if we don't work i'm mm-hmm. not dropping jewels that make you a good woman for me but just in general, in general. you feel what i'm saying because mm-hmm. at the end of the day if we dealt with each other even if it's farewell i still wish the best for you if i care right. about you you feel what i'm saying i just don't fuck with you no more right. that's truly how i feel so i, I you know i'm gonna drop game regardless it's just up to you whether you soak that shit up or not you feel me but some about y'all shit. young ones, y'all don't take accountability. So let me tell you <sighs> this. I'm going to put you down. Okay, I was going to tell you, my mom, I was going to tell you, in the relationship, since we already getting into it, we'll just play the game. I'll talk to fix So it'll, it'll match. Mm, okay, we'll do five minutes. Go ahead and switch. Okay. <laughs> Y'all good? No, we good. But uh, yeah. So like right now, listen, I'm putting you down, but you gotta answer a question real quick. When this come out? Can you make sure I'm clear and free when no, it's... it comes out in January? Get oh, okay, your, I'm good. Right, let, me, let, me get your <laughs> let me do it. Okay, so like right now, I talk to two people, right? Oh shit! Oh, I'm finna fuck the game up with this Pull one. Up. One of them is thirty, mm-hmm. right? One of them is twenty three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Jesus, man, it's like they both. It's per- night and day. Yes, but they perfect in the ways that they are. It's like they both so good for me that I'm like, shit, which way I want to go with this? You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And my young one, my 23 year old, I've been dealing with her way longer. I got love for her. You feel me? The issue is she 23. So a lot of stuff like taking accountability, different shit she haven't had enough experience with, or the other people that she's dating haven't made her stand up it. and take accountability. That'd be hard. So it's like, do I really want to deal with training somebody to be able to say I was wrong or that is my fault or also a lot of things that younger women like to do is if I'm mad you want to get mad too let me be mad you piss me off why the <laughs> fuck are you trying to get mad too like what's wrong with you you feel what I'm saying like relax your ass you feel me so what's the what's the older woman do cause she gotta do something she's she perfect do? I'm not gonna lie what only she thing she perfect she's perfect. Now she on the young girl. hold yeah, on yeah shout out to you babe I ain't gonna lie to you <laughs> but see the thing is with an older woman like you said, you can't teach old dog new tricks. Right. So certain shit is like, I don't know what you used to with that nigga, but this not that. Yeah. You feel me? Like ain't no woman running me. Like I'm the masculine one. I'm mm-hmm. gonna pay your bills. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna do all that. So that's how we gonna act. You feel me? You mm-hmm. not my slave, but you definitely not my nigga. I'm your nigga. You feel what I'm saying? You feel Damn, me? Man, put it on the floor then. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> ah, you feel what I'm saying? I see what you're saying, though. But I think accountability is hard. Yeah. So I it's struggle like, with which, it, but it's because... Which poison I want to deal with. So That's, this is my perspective, right? And the last thing I'm going to say, because <laughs> no one tells too much, but... Okay, for me, I'm 22, like I said. 
You got to understand, people that's 22, depending on their home situation like me, mm -hmm. I just got out of my mama's crib yeah. not too long ago. Yeah. I ain't trying to sit up here and be like, oh, I did this wrong. Like, I did that shit in my mama's house. When I'm outside and I'm grown, I ain't do a bitch-ass thing <laughs> wrong. And that's how I feel. That's true. So that's the ego in us, though. Like, nigga, we ain't do shit yeah, wrong. Yeah, facts, facts, Like, we facts. grown as hell now. Facts. Like, we be popping our shit a lot. So it is hard. I think... I'm trying to get better, but I think also, and I don't know how you go about yeah. telling them to be accountable, but a lot of people don't know how to hold people accountable in a healthy way. Yeah, facts. So that makes people also react. So if you already not good at taking accountability, and yeah. then this person not good at yeah, bringing it to you, you with yeah, they're not good of, yeah. at bringing it to you and presenting it to you, hell yeah, you're going to be on the defense yeah. like the fuck. And then depending on that, a lot of people, well, I don't know, it depends on the person, but your relationship experience. Yeah, there ain't facts. been a lot of relationships. Facts. You don't know what that's like. Or if you've been with a lot of unhealthy relationships. Mm -hmm. But I don't think yeah. it's impossible to teach somebody. Are you or trying try to, to go to 23 year old? I'm not telling you nothing, child, because <laughs> they're going to be mad at me. <laughs> yeah, they're going to come for the Let's Mingle podcast. <laughs> but all I'm going to say is, like, I don't think that's a reason to give up because I think accountability can be taught. Yeah. I think that, like I said, it can be taught in. You're going to need it for every aspect of your yeah. life, whether it's in business, family, yeah, relationships. That's so real. I think once they start realizing that, I think it's easier to take a lot of Yeah. You know okay. I appreciate that. Yeah, so I can't tell you what to do, but you let me know what you do because I'm right. curious. Now right. I'm curious. All right. <laughs> so you want to go ahead and roll to. Okay. Okay, so we're going to roll into some boss talk right okay. now. You know what I'm saying? So this is the chance where you get to pop your shit. Okay. Somehow you get your paper, how you get to yeah. your bag, what you got going on, okay. emotion, all this. So. Yeah. What you been doing lately? What you been on? Yeah, man. Oh, so I, I throw parties. Um, Not just, like, I'm not a promoter. Like, ain't nobody mm -hmm. investing in me. I take my own money. Rent out venues, I book guests, whatever mm. I want to have. You feel what I'm saying? So you funny on shit. Yeah, if I have a contest, whatever. So I always tell people, like, I ain't no promoter. I, I, you say I throw events or whatever, but, yeah. you know, nothing against the promoters. Fuck with them. A lot of my dogs promoters, but what I'm doing, just it take a little bit more. You feel what I'm saying? Because right. I ain't got nobody behind me. Like, all my shit so is. So that's the difference between a promoter yeah. and what you're doing. They yeah, got a lot. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, you a promoter, then you are promoting somebody else's mm. establishment. You but feel you what I'm like saying? doing the whole thing. Yeah, I'm shit. doing it. Okay. And that person who you promoting for, they paying you, you know, whatever y'all agree to or depending on how many people you bring in the club, it's not like that for me. You feel me? And a promoter gonna make their money regardless. With me, if my event don't do good, then I took an L this night. Right. If I'm a promoter for a club and only five people came, whatever our contract said, you still gotta pay me that. It don't right. matter. You feel what I'm saying? Like you feel me? So that um right. I'm a <laughs> uh, hood pharmacist. Okay. <laughs> That's what we like. Yeah, we like yeah. That. Come we, on, we need now. A hood <laughs> I'm a I'm a hood pharmacist. Uh mm. I'm real good at music. Um my issue uh -huh. with it is my consistency. Mm. Like I got a video on YouTube with a million views and all that shit. Really? Yeah. It's my consistency. Anything I drop on Instagram, I'm gonna hit fifty thousand views, two thousand likes, all yeah. that type of shit. But I'm just inconsistent. Just but I, I still put that because I don't made some money off of it and I still can. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, that's 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 what it is, right? Right now. That's good. Yeah. So how, what made you get into the whole party and like, you know, throwing your parties um, and all that? I just always been super popular. Like no matter where mm -hmm. I go, even when I was in jail, like everybody loved me. Oh god, like I always take over a room. I got a good mm. personality, you feel what I'm saying? I can see that. Yeah, I can but see in it. the same breath, like I'm not overbearing. Bearing. And then like I look like this, but for whatever reason, people I'm still approachable. I got I still got the baby face and you know, all that type of shit. So I was like, man, I need to get some money off this shit. Like Why? Well, Everybody always want to shy where you at, you know, mm -hmm. pop out, da da da. Like, I'm out well, you know, run this shit up. And I think being in jail for so long, when I came home, I just like, I don't want to fucking work for nobody. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, it's fine. That's cool. If it's a means to an end, I, you know what I'm saying? I, all that. And I have had some jobs before, but it's just not for me. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, anything I could do that's within my morals, you feel me? So get me some money, like, I'm going to do it. You feel right. what I'm saying? For okay. sure. So, if you don't mind. Mm hmm. Cause you said you went to jail. Yeah. What, like, what was the whole situation? Give me a little rundown if you can. Okay, so, um, shit, man. When I was younger, I just, I was like, 
a fucking klepto in like a mm. pyromaniac. Like, I used to just do a bunch of shit, hit a bunch of licks and set mm. shit on fire. Like, I'm not stealing. Like, I'm breaking the niggas' houses while they in the house. Like, my brother right oh. there. Like, niggas is in their house sleep, grown men. And I'm 12. Like, first time I went to job, I was 12. Mm. You know what I'm saying? On my oh, 12th birthday, young, literally. Yeah, I jumped off the porch. Um, Like, so just robbing niggas a lot. And then, so I was in and out from all the way to like 12 to 14, just repeatedly doing mm. it, doing it. I went to jail like 27 times. And then the last time I got out, um, I just went and did like a spree of shit. Robbed a bunch of places. Damn, now she got out and did a spree. Yeah, robbed a bunch Girl, of places. I would not want to live in your neighborhood. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> man, they, they tried to ostracize us out of the neighborhood shit. one time, man. Yeah, my mom was going through it. So I um like went on a spree. I burnt down the gas station. Mm. I had hit like Girl, seven you burned the gas station? Yeah, and then like I'm super smart. Like, like real, real smart. So like I had... Burnt the gas station is crazy. Yeah. So you would have... Girl, it would have been an explosion. I out used to like fire, man. I um, you said it, it's good you said that. So what really got me, like all the time I did, I had built two bombs, um, and I had connected them to a Taco Bell, right? On some crazy shit. You didn't think about the military at this point. Nah, hell no, I ain't. That's a white man war. <laughs> you right. You right. That's a whole other conversation, just, but you right. Say, I was just bad and turned up, and, like, my daddy had just died. Mm. And then you got to think, I'm 29 now, so this is 13 years ago. Like, being gay and shit wasn't, like, as acceptable and right. cool like it is now. And, yeah. like, my brother vouched for me. My mama vouched I've always been gay. Like, mm. always. I've tried, like, I don't have, you know, middle school and shit. I don't have a little boyfriend. Right. Didn't work. And all the niggas... The two boyfriends I had, one was feminine, one was white. Mm. So I'm not going to get no. Oh, you black. got a white boy on your yeah. roster? Yeah. <laughs> got a white boy on my roster. Okay, you yeah. Me? You really big shot for real. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Oh, so, shit. So I tried it and I'm just like, nah, like this shit really is not for, for me. For you, yeah. So I was just fighting a lot of demons. You feel what mm. I'm saying? And it was a lot bottled up. Yeah, okay. you feel me? So I was just like letting out, you know, that anger that mm. way. You feel me? So that's, that's, that. that's what led up to that. And then I fucked around and just did it in the white side of town and um when i first got locked up they was trying to charge me as a dope give me 40 years you feel mm. what i'm saying and then i did a little evaluation and they like man like she's smart she's been through a lot of shit but she's not a bad person you feel what i'm saying and you know i just like had some people vouching for me and shit like in my community like i said everybody always loved me you feel me right. like even through all the bad shit i was doing like people could tell like that she's still a good, good person. person you feel what i'm yeah. saying you so, could you always know, tell i had some yeah. people vouching for me and shit so you know crack you know crack gave me 60 months i did nuts, my man. shit and yeah whole nuts for sure mm -hmm. i did my shit and came home and you know yeah, that's good. So yeah. all that was during like juvenile. And yeah, stuff. yeah. So it did rolled they wipe over. Any of it? Okay, I'm it rolled to over to when I was an adult. But what they did was put it under first offenders. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So like, long as I don't go back to prison, right. then it's it'll never show. Yeah. But if I get convicted of a felony and go back to prison, then all that shit will be unlocked. Popping you feel up. what I'm saying? Nah, and it'll that. be like this motherfucker is a menace. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when you said bombs on the Taco yes. Bell, girl, what Taco Bell did yes. you? Yes, really. Let me tell you something, man. I was banging. And just being a dumbass follower mm. and the man who the manager at the Taco Bell owed the nigga that I was banging under some money, you know, and he like, you, you know, you do this, da da da. So I'm like, shit, this how I'ma do it. Do Cause it. I was into that type of shit anyway. Yeah. Science they my knew thing. Who to call too. Yeah, fast, right? Science my yeah. thing. And I was a crash dummy. I ain't give a fuck. So, mm. you know, I was, you know, the best option for a nigga, but I'm so different now. Like I'm yeah. still a gangster forever. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like I'm just, that's not what I want to be, but it's in me. You feel me? Like, yeah. I'm from the hood. That's what it is. I'm always stand on business, but now, like, that's not the shit that I think is cool. I'm not mm. trying to make little kids do it. None of that shit. But like, you've grown, too. And yeah. that's good, because a lot of people never get out of their mindset. Yeah, they hell, start nah. influencing the youth. Or yeah, do fuck, this, no, do I'm that, trying to save nah. kids, That's man. what I said. I think you're very aware, and I can yeah. tell that just off of yeah, the conversations yeah, yeah. you've had, so that's really yeah, good. Facts. But my question to you is, for the people that's going through this, you know, that's in and out of jail, yeah. at any age, Yeah. What's the motivation? Like, what made you want to get out and be like, this what I want to do? Because I know you said you didn't want to work for somebody. Yeah. But did you know exactly you wanted to get in the party promotion? Or nah, you just knew? hell no. Nah. I was just like, damn, I got to think of something I'm already good at, and I got to flip that shit. I ain't mm -hmm. got no money, so I need to take a talent that I'm good at, and, flip and I need to make that into some money. And then I could go from there. And right. I always been like, like, 
easy, I could talk. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know how to articulate myself. You feel what I'm saying? My my vocabulary is, is, is great. Like, if you mm -hmm. want me to drop some words, we could drop them motherfuckers. You could drop some. I'm not going to ask you what they mean, none of that. So I'm just like, yeah, like, I got to use this shit to my advantage, and I'm going to fuck you up, too, with this one. Um, I feel like God put me here to speak to the masses, like, to give motherfuckers mm. who feel alone and people who hurting and who feel like this gotta be the end because the yeah. shit's so bad like to to get them people faith you feel what i'm saying yeah. so i just figure anything where i'm interacting with large groups of people is just a stepping stone yeah, to what purpose. i really put here for right, so it gotta be parties and then that just get me a bunch of followers and a bunch of people who believe what i say and who fuck with my vibe and then i start dropping these jewels on you mm -hmm. you feel what i'm saying then that's what it is you Not feel me real. so i look at everything like the bigger Big picture. picture, you feel me? Just like this yeah, party. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm the happiest in my life when I'm when I'm talking to people because I know when I talk, people listen. Listen to you. Like it's gonna be another motherfucker saying the same shit I'm saying, and everybody is talking, ignoring them. Da da da. When I speak, like I command your your Attention, ears, like yeah. listen to what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, so, I feel yeah, it. for sure. Nah, so that's what you know. Just again, cause you you just you blew me the fuck away. <laughs> I'm over here like hell yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but how, again, how does somebody get out of that mindset? Because coming out of jail, yeah. like, I feel like if you don't start cultivating your mind yeah. while you in, in there, there yeah, that's when how you, you get be. out, you're not going to yeah. hit the ground running. You got to get tired, man. This I think the best thing I did was I it, just... Wait, Paul, it's somebody that's getting ready to go in. Yeah. Facts. So you, yeah, talk yeah, to them. Yeah, know, yeah like, man, you just got to... um. So this how, is how I kick it, right? Mm. It's two hearts in every situation. If I was a nigga that was still in and out of jail, running the streets, being a bum, whatever, that is hard, right? Mm -hmm. It's just as hard to chase a dream. Mm. The only difference is the dream has an end that I benefit from. If I keep doing this, it's a cycle that's never, it's a cycle of misery, it's never ending. Mm -hmm. So when you sit down and you think about it, and you, 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 niggas gotta really get by themselves. That's what I had to do. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta isolate yourself and you gotta look in the mirror and you gotta be honest and say, I'm fucking up and I'm gonna fuck up. Period. Mm -hmm. That's some real shit, though. I'm fucking up and I'm gonna fuck up. And when you that honest with yourself, that's when you could start like putting together what you need to do mm -hmm. and you could change your mindset. The, your brain, everything is a mindset. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you got to do the physical work and shit. But if your mind is not where it needs to be, you will always fail. Right. I'm telling you this because it's a lot of shit that your body can't take that your mind can. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Even being locked up in a cell like that at a young age for a long time, that shit that if I didn't hone in on my brain and, you know, get right with me, I wouldn't have made shit like that. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Because... Mm -hmm. If your brain weak, you weak. So that would like, like my best advice to people is change your thought. And sometimes you can't do it for yourself. Like you don't love yourself. You feel what I'm saying? It, so yeah. you got to think about that one person who never gave up on you. The mama that cry every night mm. and still pray Girl, for you. Grandma after you don't, you yeah, praying. that you don't drug yeah. or whatever. It's always that everybody got at one, least one, one person. person who if the whole world gave up on you, it's still that one person. And sometimes you got to do it for that person. Yeah. And you got to think about it. Like, you know, they don't deserve that. And then... I think lastly, the biggest thing was I feel like if I keep being a bad person or doing bad shit because bad stuff happened to me in the past, mm -hmm. whoever did bad shit to me or whatever hurt me is constantly winning. Mm -hmm. So it's like you already beat me back then. I'm finna keep letting you control my right, life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like when people get molested, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you know, oh, I got molested, so that's why I act how I act. Like, that's why I'm turned up. It's still I'm acting you. out. So it's like, damn, that motherfucker got to do that to you back then, which is fucked up. And then also in your adult life, you still gonna let them run yeah. your shit into the ground. It's still and, a control yeah, thing. Yeah, like when you start thinking you. like that, you like, hell no, I'm not right, gonna let this nigga beat me. Bitch, yeah, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, no, like you already fucked my childhood or had me doing all this shit. Mm. Whatever, I'm not gonna let this beat me. me. Or whatever it is, it could be poverty, a family cycle, whatever is beating you. When mm -hmm. you start realizing like this shit been beating me my, my whole life and that that mindset kick in where, you know, because we all got that shit in us where we want to win. You feel right, what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you realize that it's really you versus them demons and you get to a point where it's like, nigga, I'm not taking no more L's, then everything start to uh, change. Make it start sense. to change. You that feel shit, what I'm yeah, saying? You be able to put that shit together yeah, for real. For sure. But one thing I did want to touch on is you said that you got to be alone. And yeah. jail sometimes the only place where a nigga be alone. Yes, it is. On God. It because is. when you home, your homeboy's calling yeah. you, the hoes calling you. And it's you. hard to say no. A it lot is. of times. It's, it's very hard. hard. I could see that, especially for men. Yeah. People in general, but yeah, men, men specifically. Yeah, got it real bad. 
bad, okay? Especially if you need streets and yeah, you doing uh -huh. shit. It's very hard. Because you don't so. never want somebody to be like, Oh, that nigga not like that no more. That mm, nigga da, da, da. You don't want to be Yeah, because oh, I still wanna, go okay. through that where it's like, like, nigga, you trying me like. But do you do you let it hold you back, though? Because like you said, some niggas hear that, they ready to get active again. <sighs> like, I yes. feel like it's a problem. I go thing. in and out of it. I okay. go in and out of it. I'm still working on it. So okay. some, a lot of shit. Young, yeah, a lot of young. shit I've let go, I would have never let go back in the day. Mm -hmm. But then it comes certain situations where it's like, nah, I got to show your ass. Like, this shit still like that, oh. twin. Like, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like, oh. I'm going to still stand on that business, even though I change. Do you, you think you me? ever lose that, though? Or do you just think it gradually dies down? No, nah, I think you learn how to put it in a cage and absolutely bring it out only when necessary. Yes, okay. exactly. But until you get to that point, until you get to that point, then, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, it still could pop up out of you, you yeah. know, at any time. Because I always say, I love a reform hood nigga, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. don't know how to put yeah, it back yeah. there. You got to uh -huh. talk to them folks yeah, and shit like that. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I think that is important because I think so many men, expect, yeah. like I said, it's ain't the single them out because yeah, everybody facts. got tempers, but... Men, black men especially. Yeah, because if yeah. you think about it, look at the statistics. It's yeah. a whole bunch of black men in prison because yeah. they weren't able. And to And a put lot of shit is just proving a point. You was just trying to prove. And then another thing, I'm be real with you. So yeah. I'm I'm gay. So nobody take this the wrong way. But a lot of that shit gay mm -hmm. because a lot of times niggas be in situations trying to prove points to other niggas. And it's like, you a nigga. I don't care what you what think you about do? me. Like, when niggas get that mindset, like, nigga, I don't care what you, like, what? You mm. a nigga. You not my mama. You not but my you bitch. You not my daughter. Like, what the fuck? Why you do know, I care what you think? You know what I hate? What you that hate? big homie syndrome. <sighs> I hate big homie syndrome. <laughs> okay, look, I used to fold this nigga, right? <laughs> he had big homie syndrome like a motherfucker. Uh -huh. Like, he just felt like he ran shit, popping yeah. his shit, didn't mind. Woo -woo. Yeah, yeah. Like, Boy, they, these young niggas are washing your yeah, ass up, Paul. Exactly. Like, what the yeah. hell? No, that's real. That's yeah. real. And I feel like they probably be so yeah. deep into uh -huh. it that they're not able to step out. And then you be looking like, nigga, you damn near 30. Yeah, fast. You so, only talking about big homie. Yeah, nigga, your yeah, ass yeah. need to be over here getting your shit together, building a family, or or starting to build the foundation of yeah. it. Because even if you don't want to have kids right now, start taking bitches serious. Yeah, like, fast, fast. I hate that big homie syndrome. And I think that's what's going on, too, because it's not a lot of OGs no more. Yeah, it's not yeah. a lot of niggas it's that's kicking niggas don't no want to. Niggas don't want to say they, like, they think the end of their prime mean that they lame now. But yeah. it's like, no, that's just the end of but that stage in thing. your life. Yeah, like, like, it's like midlife crisis. Yeah, it like, is. Like, niggas yeah. older and that shit. Yeah, like, damn, I'm losing. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm Most falling off yeah. real bad. And it's like, oh, God. And then, you know, niggas don't want you to call them OG, none of that, because they feel like that mean they going out of style. You feel what I'm saying? But let me tell you, all that shit go back to loving your so mm -hmm. I literally was just telling my barber this. I'm like, if people love themselves more, we will avoid so much more shit. Because if I loved myself, I wouldn't give a fuck if my time to lead a bunch of fucking nobodies was over. Mm. Just keeping it a buck. Or a For bunch sure. of motherfuckers who still doing the same shit they was doing 10 years ago. If you love yourself, then their opinion or leading it, it don't mean nothing to you. I know mm -hmm. I'm still that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of that shit, niggas don't love themselves, so everything is a validation or a point mm -hmm. to prove. You, know, you start working on loving yourself. Like, that's how I've been in way less shit these last two years of my life. This is the longest I've ever been out of jail, my brother mm -hmm. tell you. This is the longest I've not had a worn out. None of that shit. Like, I just had a warrant out for five years. That's you feel good, what I'm though. Congratulations. Yes, but it's because I don't been working That's on myself. Big. Like, right. I love me. So a lot of shit, it's like, nigga, you know what I'll do to you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let that, you know, I'm going to let, let that slide, shit slide. Because you know You feel up. me? Like, you know, you know come on, you yeah. pump faking twin. You know what it, you know what it get like over here. I think it's because you still a woman. Yeah. So you yeah, have yeah, that I, grace yeah. in you. A uh -huh. lot of grace these niggas uh -huh. don't have. It's like that for real. I be telling you, like, bro, like, come on, bro. You know, like, I get your ass put on a t-shirt. Like, stop playing with me. And I'm that's your mama slide. selling fish basket. <laughs> no, you from Alabama. She okay. said, not your mama selling a fish bag for the coffin, man. The for funeral costs too much. Like, like for real, for real. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to be paying $5 a plate. Yeah, for like, nah, like, that's real. On oh, God, like, for real, for real, man. Mm. Nah, I like that. Uh, yeah, like, then I don't fuck with people. Man. So I feel like if we into it, I really got to show you because mm. I know you did something to me. I don't fuck with people. I don't feel a need to. I'm not having no points to prove. Like, mm. I really, I jumped off the porch at 11. Like, you feel what I'm saying? The niggas that need to know what I'm on, know what I'm on. Mm. Any woman I'm with, know what I'm on. Like, they know they could call me to get into it with niggas, bitches, whatever. I'm going to stand on that shit. And whoever it is, they better come with it. Whether it's a nigga, a girl, whatever. You feel what I'm saying? Baby, that's that Florida. Yeah. <laughs> that's that Florida. 
<laughs> yeah, we the best, man. Let me say, man. I no, wish you crazy. I wish fuck. you how many girls I got just because I'm from Florida. Like I, I swear, but they, they hear you from Florida and they just love you. Y'all got the worst news coverage yeah. ever. <laughs> it be some crazy shit every always, time. You hear some crazy shit. Like, oh, that shit happened in Florida. Florida. Oh God. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh God. Like, we the off fuck? the chain. Yeah, for nah, sure. For real. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I fuck with you though. No, I'm saying yeah. I feel like we kicking shit yeah, real good. God. Yeah, yeah, you I'm my like partner. This. Maybe Florida, Alabama could do so. Uh, <laughs> you want to feature so bad. And I don't tell you, Alabama. Let me keep it gangster down what there. Part of, I know what part of Alabama, Alabama you from? Oh, it's my folks because uh-huh. I, I wasn't born down there, but uh-huh. I went back there a lot. But it's Birmingham, okay. Tuscaloosa. It's really okay. all over, but Birmingham, okay. Tuscaloosa, really uh, like yeah, for sure. For yeah, real. yeah. I know y'all be thugging down there for sure, for sure. I got a lot of little friends down there. They be yeah, they be thugging. You talking about little friends, little friends, or we talking about like partners? Little both partners, oh, little shit. friends. I got little friends. I got out hoes you in different area codes. Let me find out you to mess with my cousin. She fine. Probably I so probably you see my him. bloodline. I probably yeah yeah. <laughs> man, <Yeah>. go on. <laughs> <laughs> she better go on, yeah, man. On that bloodline. On the <laughs> girl line. crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Yeah, and I like Ready them long distance. That's my favorite. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I love him out the way, please. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Hey, if you from Birmingham, you know we from across some tracks, baby. 17th Ave, all that oh, shit. Oh, here she go. Where you from? You from uh, St. Petersburg? Yeah, I'm from St. Petersburg. Ooh. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm a bottom boy for sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the only the only state shaped like a pistol, man. Come on, now. Shit. Y'all gotta know what we standing on. Okay, all right, Ooh. Alabama. We gotta come up with some shit because she just ate us. Yeah, some I ate up. you up. Yum, 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 yum. No, for real. Okay, Alabama. We're gonna have to get in the comments because that was fine. I like that. You like one. that? I like that. One. I'm a little jealous. Hello. Of it. Okay, but so, y'all, you, my bad. You good? We're rolling to, because um, it's already nine. Uh, let's. You need to switch out, take a break. Cause we, if not, oh no, I'm rolling. Everybody cool? All right, we are gonna switch back into relationships, cause I want at least thirty minutes or twenty, thirty minutes. Then we get into the game. All right, bet. Wait, Nay, <laughs> you got a Reddit story for? Hold on, let me finish showing you what I have. <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> it's hard. Them fucking shit is hard as hell to chew too. On good. Y'all need juice or anything? No, oh, I'm good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Outside there. We're going to get into a drinking what game in the middle. We're about to get into a drinking game Aww, a little bit. Aw, you're killing me. Mm-hmm. All right, now you feel the light. So, yeah, you know, I'm just pulled out some shots because, you know, <laughs> in a minute, shot, we're going to see we gonna see how ready you is okay. to me in a minute, okay? So, like you said... My you, sweetie just texted me and said, what kind of podcast that is? You tell us a relationship podcast. <laughs> That's what I said. No, it is, though. I can't wait to see the response. Like, I'm talking about shoe bag. Yeah, I'm you know good, what I'm saying? You're you know how to finesse that yeah, shit. I'm come talking on, about you, Come on, they what I do. Period. But I know that you said earlier, again, because, you know, I really be listening. Yeah, People fact. think I don't be listening yeah. to this all, but I really be hearing you. You were talking about just being gay or coming up yeah and that's something i want to talk about because i've been saying on this show for a while i want to get into these conversations <laughs> yeah. for real but i'd be so you know what i'm saying yeah. a little scared because you know you don't want to say the wrong thing no. but we vibing so yeah, i feel like I'm you're open. whatever life. you want to know you ask me i'm not offended by nothing you don't know i would like to inform you okay please do because yeah, i do want to know so it's a lot of lingo right <laughs> 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 no nah, for real. it's a lot of lingo and I feel like, you know, for the viewers, for the people out there, you got to set it straight because yeah. a lot of people out here saying the wrong terms for yeah. people. A lot of people being offensive, not knowing yeah, and they get punched in the mouth, baby. Facts, this facts. type of shit be going on. Okay. So the first question I have for you, um, I want to know the difference between... <laughs> <laughs> Shadow family. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so I want you to tell me the difference between a stud... Mm-hmm. And then the word dyke. Because okay. I know dyke is derogatory. Yes, it okay. is. So, okay, boom. So there are some masculine presenting women who are okay with being called dykes. You want they're okay with it because they either way older or they actually want to be a boy. Okay. So studs, people like me, the reason it is offensive to us is because when you hear dyke, the first thought is she wanna be a nigga. Mm. I do not. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like a stud, I'm just like I'm an extreme tomboy for real. 
I just don't like niggas, you feel what I'm saying? And I ain't taking, you know what I'm saying, no penetration, mm. you feel what I'm saying, of any Term. penis type, real or fake. <laughs> Let me clear that one up. <laughs> but I'm not a, you feel me? But as a stud, I'm also like not a touch me not. So that's why yeah. I don't want to be called dyke because I'm still very much so in tune with the fact that I'm a woman. woman. It's still certain shit that women like that I like, you feel mm. what I'm saying? I'm not sitting here pretending. I'm not trying to be uh cool you feel what i'm saying mm. a lot of people take on that dyke shit because they think it make them seem harder but All i'm gonna right. be real with you most dykes i know like i beat them the fuck up and you want to be a boy i don't i beat your ass clean I up you, you know you what i'm saying yeah like yeah, like, like, like yeah like you know what i'm saying like i don't <laughs> care yeah you feel me so that's why i don't want to be called a dyke because i don't want to give off the impression me or other studs that are mm. really studs that i want to be a boy that's right. not it or that i'm coming into this and I'm just the one doing all the work. Like, mm -hmm. no, it's just a two-way street. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you feel I me? See that. I see that. You okay. feel me? And, you know, I mean, right. most times people say dyke, they saying it hard. Like, yeah. man, that dyke like over there, that like da da da, -da, -da. Yeah. You say, where well, I be like, that bitch over there or yeah. that, that faggot over there. So like, you like feel? The yeah, it exactly. Okay. You ain't like people like, man, yeah, yeah, man, I love dykes. Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, okay. That they doesn't even it sound like right when you say it nice. It doesn't even sound good when you say it nice. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that's what it is. I'm just in it stream time, boy who I don't like boys um I don't you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't get into none of that. You feel me? Right. But I'm also like, I'm not a baby stud. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because people get that oh, confused too. Yeah, because baby studs are still way more feminine than me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be twerking. It's not happening. Okay, I see what you're saying. You feel what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. I know you don't see some no, of them studs have, and have, you know they throwing have, ass and shit and you like, hold oh, on, Because right. a nigga wouldn't throw ass. You right. feel what I'm saying? Okay. So a stud is like, I'm going to have all the nigga tendencies without wanting to be a nigga. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. And so it's like, okay, I see what you're saying. They want you to call he all that if like my my homeboys they call me bro but they know i'm a she you feel mm -hmm. me if they talk about me they're gonna say she they're not gonna say he i'm mm -hmm. not getting offended by the word she dice want you to say he and and mm -hmm. all that and it's like no okay. nigga like i'm a girl i'm cool if you so call tell me, me bro. If i'm reaching okay okay go ahead because i'm trying to pick up yeah. what you're putting down yeah would it be safe to say that dyke or the turn uh -huh. dyke is somebody that again wants to be a man with just without going through the sex change? Yes, for okay. the most part. Yes. Okay. That makes yes. sense. That makes sense. Because once you start going through the sex change, of course, you know it, it changes shit, but that's okay. what it is. So, okay. Yeah. So they don't like really a, shave. In a way, do all it's that. like a step yeah, before trans. Yeah. In a way. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Basically, they the ones that's like, like you said, they like straddling. Of course, mm -hmm. let me say this. Cause you know that y'all y'all love to tussle. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna tussle me though. But you know okay. what I'm saying. There are exceptions to every rule. You okay. know what I'm saying. Just like I know studs that get fucked. So I know some dykes who are just that masculine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. And don't want to have a sex change. You feel what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them, you know, they growing the beards. They doing all that. Only mm -hmm. thing they ain't gonna do is get the dick put on them. I don't like that. And I go I had to the that bar and cut this shit with, off me. Yeah, I you had that, I had that conversation the other day with somebody, and they were just kind of saying, even like going through a surgery, a sex change. Yeah. That's very. That's dramatic. Yeah, it's very intense. And, and your it's, mental. It, yeah. it, it, it changes your mental. Because don't they lot. make you do like a psychological? Yeah, you have to yeah. because they have to make sure you're ready for that. Because essentially, you got to understand, we was born a certain type of way. Mm -hmm. You're changing the whole makeup of who you are right. as a person. Mm. And even though you might feel like I want to be a boy or I want to be a girl, that changes a lot. And you have to get on so much medication. Da, mm. da, 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 da. Is it just you hormones and stuff like that? Yeah, hormones. A lot of them get on psychological oh, meds because they go through a depression stage. You got to be ready for people to talk about you mm. and be like, what the fuck? And da, 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 da. All yeah. that shit really Transitioning matters. is truly a transition. Yes. Like, it, that shit is not like yes. And that's just, another reason I don't yeah. be called a dyke because I ain't trying to take nobody light. That's not right. my lifestyle. Okay. I'm not even considering it. So I'm right. not a dyke. I'm nowhere near that lanes. line. Yeah. Two different no, lines. I mean, it's never a thought in my head I'm going to be a woman to the day I die. Like, and for sure. See, like I said, that opens a whole new perspective yeah. for me because yeah. I see it. Like, how you yeah. just said it. Like, I ain't finna <laughs> step in nobody lane because yeah. that's not what I want to yeah, do. And exactly. it's real people out there that yeah. want to do that. I'm happy you asked me that because I know that is like the perception. Like, people see a stud and they so miss informed that they just automatically assume they want to be a nigga yeah. oh and I'm, it's ignorant yeah it is. but it's, under, it's I, understandable I get it because you're not extent. you don't know yeah. like how can i be mad at you for passing a judgment if you don't know right. you feel what i'm saying but i'm like i'm not scary so i put niggas in a place all the time mm -hmm. like i had a nigga call me a dyke like three weeks ago and i had to let him know like no partner like you we know we that. in a trap so it's a nigga that i know is like that i'm still gonna put you in your place you feel what i'm saying don't call right. me a dyke you feel me you're like yeah uh, that that dyke cool as hell what? 
Mm. You could just say she cool as hell. That yeah. dyke ain't nothing because I'm not, you feel me? That's not me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Type shit. So, yeah. That's definitely understandable. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so <laughs> I don't want to get canceled. No, come on. I don't think I'm going to be canceled for this. On, but it. let me just say this. This is my personal experience. So, I'm heterosexual, <laughs> right? Let me just put that out there. I've never, I'm not attracted to women, right? Yeah. But. It's so many women, of uh-huh. course, that have tried. <laughs> Lord, Jesus, y'all, they done tried to take me to the moon and back. Yeah. Send me up and through there. But one thing I noticed, because I played sports when I yeah. was in high school, all throughout middle school, high school, and I played basketball. Yeah. So you already Ooh, know. Okay, you okay. Already know. Give me buckets. You know, I went to state and everything. Hell is you talking about? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> but look, so being in basketball, that is a very... Lesbian-dominated sport. sport. Yes. Okay, so being in the locker room, you know, it's always... Yeah. Come of them and i just noticed those over films yeah they're very aggressive yeah when they want you yeah. they don't give a fuck if you straight yeah and they taking it in uh-huh. with you and i feel like for me i always put that boundary of only yeah. even if you a nigga i like niggas yeah but if i don't like you but is that true that a lot of studs that y'all are kind of <laughs> aggressive or <So>. like <laughs> you know I mean? i'm gonna fuck the game up with this i get listen let me tell you so 95% of the women I date are straight. Mm-hmm. That's for starters. But are they straight, though? They, they ain't never talked to a girl, never had so sex you date with first a girl. So mm-hmm, For sure. And, mm-hmm. but this is the difference, though. I got a different technique than niggas. I'm not overly... Not technique? Ag- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not overly aggressive. But, mm-hmm. and that's with studs or niggas. Niggas always pressing sex, 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 yeah. sex. Girls don't like that. Because I'm a girl and I hang around a lot of girls, and I hang around a lot of popular girls, a lot of attractive girls, a lot of girls that strip, da-da-da. So I really get... So they really out there. So mm-hmm. I'm getting this. And, like, these girls is tired of niggas trying to fuck them. So me... <laughs> Being me, you know what I'm saying? I'm just cool. I'm real cool oh. with it. A bitch don't even know she like me till she like me. Oh like, God. real talk. And you I feel like that's saying? your game. And that is my game. That's how I get them. You that's know what I'm saying? saying? I'm looking at you yeah, like, boy, yeah, that's how I get them. The... And I'm also like a... That that impression that you have is very common. So, mm-hmm. I could turn anybody out. Da, 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 da. Even if that was my feeling, I would never say it. That's why I feel like, shut the you fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Why would I? Because that's even even that alone to make you be like, no. Because since you think you got it like that. You too big headed. You too fucking big headed. You think I'm a shot of the fence with you? I be trying to put niggas down like you got to be smooth. I never go into none asking for sex. And let me Mm -hmm. tell you something. As much sex as I've had, I've never really initiated sex. I don't have Mm -hmm. to. And most of my sex partners are straight women that haven't had any contact with a woman. So is that like what you prefer? Let me tell you. Or is that just what we have? Oh, they finna. Them, nobody gonna fuck me up for this, but damn, they're gonna be a little tight. Damn. I like women with motion. Mm-hmm. I like women where we could kind of get away from each other. It is hard when you a lesbian. Because even in a big community, it's a small community. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be around my bitch every day. I don't want my bitch and me to only know the same people. Okay. And I live a very fast lifestyle. A lot of the women that do what I do, whether it's they shake as entrepreneurs, whatever, a mm. lot of them are straight. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So it's kind of like the It just happens, happens that way, yes. I'm in the strip club a lot, so uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to date a lot of strippers, or I'm in the trap a lot. It's a lot of straight women coming in here, mm. so this is what I'm coming into contact with. Not to say I, I love um, lesbian women. My sweetie, my 23-year-old, mm. she is a lesbian. Both of them, actually, both girls that I'm serious with right now mm. are lesbians. Uh-huh. Like They like women. Mm-hmm. So it's different for me. And it's like only women for them? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So it's different for me. Um, I enjoy it. You feel what I'm saying? But mm. it's very different dating them and dating Somebody who is I was gonna say that. Yeah, like it's when, very different. No, Carol Shaw, you breaking the ones in. You, you breaking <laughs> them in. So, like, what is that transition like for you? Is it a process? Is it a thing? So, with some of them, yes. Some of them, it's, like, gradual and slow. Mm. And then some of them, it's like, damn, like, Shaw, really that nigga? Like, oh. I don't have girls who never pulled a bitch in their life. And, like, after two, three weeks, they like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, well, no, you my got my head going through that right now. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Because you I coming in here. But you, know, bitch. <laughs> you coming in here, you know what I'm saying? Up. Yeah, you feel me? Like, yeah. that's really how it be. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, what yeah. I will say, I do agree with that. Because, like I said, I have a homegirl. Yeah. And this is her first time. Messing with a girl. Tell yeah. her it don't work out. She look good. I'll show you a picture of her. Ooh, if it don't work out, tell her Swain is Oh, way. my God. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, but see. 
I can't I just, believe I just said that on this fucking mic. I'm killing myself. No, with these drinks, get it. Hey, listen. Hey, man. I'm a, hey, hey, come on. I'm working right now. But no, listen. I feel like I see it. When a girl is straight, because I, like I said, I had friends, uh-huh. and the moment they mess with a girl, they be like, bitch. Yes. I be like, yeah, what? Yeah. And for me, it's like, I don't have the desire yeah. to. But in my head, I'm like, bro, they out there rocking y'all fucking world. Yeah. Like, they yeah. out there. You know. uh, man, let me tell you something. I just, um, before I got with these two little sweeties, I messed mm. with, like, I was living in Charlotte for two years. Mm-hmm. I messed with, like, one of the most popular girls out there, and she is a bad d do you mm. hear me like this bitch is perfect mm. when i first met her i told her one time like yeah like i'm gonna make that shit mine after that i was just chill we was friends Ooh, some little time went by you know what i'm saying we do our thing she like yeah like what the fuck like this shit different you feel what i'm saying but it, it's because if you bump into the white girl like a girl like me mm-hmm. i'm well balanced you feel what i'm saying so you get a nigga and i get to do all the shit that a nigga is doing but in the same breath how a lot of niggas can't communicate i can't mm-hmm. a lot of niggas don't right. really understand you where you're coming from you're and still shit. a girl yeah so, so you, get it. Okay. Well, you know life is about balance so right. over here if you get somebody like me then you like fuck like i got a real nigga but then i got like a best friend like i really could she understand and, my emotions yeah and talk to this motherfucking okay so that's how y'all be getting them okay you know Okay. I'm starting to yeah, see because I'm like how, but like I'm I'm getting it because yeah. that does make sense yeah, you when you're dealing saying. with somebody that understands your psyche. Yeah. And you then realistically, I, I'm a woman. I got yeah. a woman's body. I know what feel good. You feel what I'm saying? I, I it's, heard that. And I'm not coming in here for me. Like I'm coming here for both of us. Both you of first, us. me second. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm really like, That's what the niggas I, like. I'm fucking your head up. You got this. How I tell people think about it like this: when you lose your virginity, you think that nigga's the best nigga in the world, right? Girl. Like, oh, my God, this nigga, what, 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 what? I swore by that So nigga. when you with a girl for the first time, it's basically like losing, oh, your, virginity like losing your virginity all, all over, over again. again. So Ooh. you fucked up in the head because. Child, you taking, you know, I'm going to have a revelation right now. Come on. Putting I'm you down. Because I'm I really did not the game understand. Since soak this shit up. No, for real, because I really <laughs> did not understand Yes, that. it's like. Because like, I'm like, why are y'all acting like that? It's like that? your first like, relationship. Okay, so you got to think look. about how that nigga had you when you were 16. So that's what I'm doing. And then a lot, it makes you feel young again. Yes, yeah, because it's, it's new. It's a spark. You, you, you always. What's next? What's next? Yeah. You don't know the next move. So you got to think about. It. Like I say, how, whoever your high school sweetheart was, like that's 16 and 19. That, how that shit was real good. The stuff that was good was good. You feel me? So Let's like exclude a, it's the like bad. A euphoric feeling. Yes, and, and you getting it. And okay. then it's even better because I'm older now. We not 16, so I know how to keep that euphoric feeling going. You feel what I'm saying? I'm on. Come on, I'm picking it up. Shit. Hey, at least I'm telling you, lie. niggas, I'm a love guru for real, man. I need to write a book or some <laughs> Let me shit, man. Yeah, you got to do the uh, Max Mason session. Yes, come Lord. on, man. <laughs> so the last thing I want to touch on before we get into the game. Okay. Okay. Another thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I said I got friends, right? <laughs> and they are experiencing it, but I do have friends that are bi. Yeah, so yeah. So they do get in relationships with, with women. With women, yeah. So... I think just for somebody that's not gay or yeah. not lesbian, you know, just on the heterosexual side, mm-hmm. you don't really understand the conflict between couples, right? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> my friend came to me one time and she was like, yeah, this bitch got me fucked up. Woo, 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 woo. And I don't know, I guess for me, it was hard for me to take it serious yeah. because to me, it's looking like it's two women. You get what I'm saying? But it's like I have to put in my brain that, like, that's her nigga. Yeah, 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 that's her so nigga. So it's like how I argue with my nigga it's how, is how yeah. they argue. See, and I think that's where a lot of people fuck up because, um, and it's kind of like a sad little yeah. dip in the story, but our uh, rapper Styles P, mm-hmm. his daughter, uh, he committed suicide, mm-hmm. and she was a lesbian. She had a girlfriend at the time. And one thing he said that he regret him and his wife was not, taking her relationship with her girlfriend as serious. Yeah, facts. So when she was arguing, going through it, they're just not getting into it because they're like, oh, they two they're girls. They're two girls, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be real with you. It's worse. It's worse mm. because I can see the it emotions and shit are high to But the reason it's so high and like that is because you have met somebody that gets you. So mm. when you get somebody that gets you and then you feel like they not getting you, it piss you off even more. With a nigga, you expect that nigga not to get you. It's a nigga. Two of the same. Yeah, yeah, you feel you me? Know, so like, you already know. Like, he ne- but when yeah. you get with a girl, it's like, you know what the fuck I'm saying. You get how I'm yeah. feeling. Ooh, ooh, I, so it's like, like you being a real asshole. Yeah, bitch. like <laughs> to, to, you going out your way to Ooh, do whatever it is. You know it. what I'm saying? That you doing. Yeah, but it's, it's 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 even worse. Like everything, even the sex, like between two women, it's it's crazier because it's like 
What? Mm. It's like nothing in between. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. You feel me? Damn. (laughs) I'm sorry. You really, like, taking the blinds from my eyes. Like, I'm seeing it now. Because I just could not put two and two together. But as you're explaining it, I'm, I'm... yeah. And I'm understanding you lucky your life friends life. don't talk to me. I'm gonna tell you that. You, no, I am. You think they're crazy? Let like. me tell you something. Y'all stay away from Shaw. Okay? <laughs> she got she got her own shit going Listen, on right man. now. I don't need nobody calling my phone. Listen, and saying, yeah. Yeah. Me yeah, 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 yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's out the chain over here, man. <laughs> shit, no. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> All right, so we about to get into our drinking okay, game. Okay, let's do so. It. Oh, you need to switch out. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and send me those on. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to ask the questions. Just have it geared up, because I'm going to go straight through. Okay. Actually, go ahead and start. <laughs> God damn, babe. Start. I don't see about Shut three, four of them walk past this motherfucker. I need to move in here. You know? Nope. Hey, I need to come hang out sometime. No, you don't. Put me on some No, Shaw, you got so much going on. I right love it. Let me tell you something. It's not enough good niggas out here. I'm a good nigga. You should want me to spread the love. In a way, I do. Even to your friends. They deserve a nigga no, that's going to be nice and, you know, treat them right. Take yeah, them on some good I'm, dates. God, but you're going to have their head fucked up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay. I like them stuck. Like See, this that toxic <laughs> shit. Oh, that's that Girl, okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm ready to get this lick in your so you can keep talking that's for real. That Leo. So, as y'all can see, I'm pouring up some shots right now because we about to get into a game. Okay. It's called Single or Ready to Mingle. So, what happened is I'm going to give you some dating scenarios. And you're going to tell me if you would stay single or if you would keep mingling with the person. Yeah, did my shit, man. If you decide to mingle, you know the show called it as mingle, so you in the safe. Okay. You gotta take a shot, but... I stay single, take a shot. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be drunk. I don't, oh, I don't put up with shit. But I pose them up right here. <laughs> we gonna start off with these, so okay. I'm gonna push two over to you. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, because you gotta take the shot, too, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep up with you, shot. Don't try to get me drunk. <laughs> Okay, so let me get into the first question. And see, it's crazy because in this conversation, I already know some of them you ain't going to be fucking with. <laughs> already did. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. said if I uh, would, if I don't agree, yeah, if I you, need to take the shot. If I yeah. agree, I ain't got to take a shot because it's less mingle. mingle yeah. So if I'm mingling, then no shot. No if shot. I'm single, single take, you the take the shot. shot. Okay, yeah. period. My okay. bad. I had a little brain pause, nah, y'all. Nah, nah, you good. So... The first question is, you go on a date with a girl. <laughs> I don't laugh. She ordered tw- <laughs> if she ordered 28 oysters, nah, no, I'm if, she ordered, if she ordered 48, bitch, she done. <laughs> that bitch is done. <laughs> okay. So, well, actually, I want to start you off with this one. Okay. Right? i switch it up on you real quick. So, you're dating a girl. Mm-hmm. And you fucking was. Mm-hmm. You know, y'all been talking for a minute. And she decides that she'd rather be a stud instead of a film. I'm single. You single? Is that a question? I like girly. I don't want no damn Oh my god, I need to pull a chaser uh, No, well, I'm super single. I ain't even gonna play like that with a All motherfucker. Right, listen, go ahead and Cheers. Take a chance. <laughs> Lord. I'm, I'm not playing like that. You told her that? Come on. Mm-mm. A lot of it. I know a lot of people that stuff for stud and stuff. Really? But yeah, like my brother said, no, not me. I like feminine women. See, but I be seeing, it's like, you know, Damo and Chris? Mm-hmm. How Damo and Chris? Yeah. That's uh-huh. why I be like, damn, yeah, this I know the I got some around. partners that don't did that, but no, girl, get this, you get to switching up what you is on me, is a wrap. Really? We could be 10 years in. Is that years a good, like a character flaw to you? Like, do be, you feel like? Because it's like. So it do feel like a character flaw? Yes. Why would you do that? <laughs> but what if she just having to change her mind? Like, no, change oh, that motherfucker tired. over there. Change Not it over there. No, okay. I'm out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so hmm, you've been in a relationship mm-hmm. for five years, mm-hmm. and you're madly in love. Like mm-hmm. you about to marry. Ooh, this is your girl. Your girl comes to you and she says, "Bae, you know, I love you, mm-hmm. and I want to spice up our relationship. Mm-hmm. Let's have a threesome with a man." What? No, <laughs> I'm just single. What the fuck is her problem? What wait, she mean? wait, wait, hold on, shut up. 
always hate is there. What, what was the problem though? Because you fuck? don't you don't want to see that, or is it just like? Well, number one, ain't nobody hitting my bitch. That's for starters. Also, oh, you don't do threesomes, period. I do threesomes with two bitches and me, and I'm doing the hit. Oh, you're so selfish. Uh, but what? I'm a I'm man. I'm a I'm a girl. I'm a nigga though. Like we not getting into that. What? And then also, I don't want to see a dick. I don't have any desire to mm. see a dick. I watch porn. That'd be enough for seeing it for mm. me. I don't want to see a dick in yeah. real life. Okay. Ew. <laughs> and then I'm supposed to like eat you out and stuff after a foreign object well, been in you. I'm not it's doing rules it. rules to three songs I heard. I ain't never had one though because I don't, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, see, I'm nasty. I don't want nothing with no rules. That means I shouldn't be doing it. Okay. If it's rules, I don't need to be damn doing it. Yeah, go and take that shot. Right. You, you try oh, me. I'm sorry, shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> you try me. <laughs> Mm. Go ahead and pass it over here. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Oh, shit, we about to be drunk in here. Oh, my God. Lord. Can you mingle for once here? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Give us a break, shot. <laughs> Ooh. All right, all right. I'm kind of scared. Fire is not going, Yeah, y'all. no, not going. Okay. So, hmm. Okay, you're dating someone. Mm hmm and again, you feeling them again. Somebody that you're truly considering. Like, I might drop these hoes to be yeah, this fact. person. And you find out they have to turn themselves in for three months. For three months? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to mingle. You going to mingle? Yeah. But, it's, like, we going to mingle, like, and stay loyal? or you? I'm going to mingle and stay loyal. It's hard for me to like somebody. So, I feel like if somebody come my way that I'm feeling, it's mm -hmm. something about them. I ain't too much going to ruin it. I don't have a lot of sets, fucked a lot of hoes. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to ruin. So for three months you ain't gonna do shit. Oh yeah, no, 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 not nothing, nah. I'm, I'm, I'm a mingle for sure. Why well, I don't believe it? I don't care. <laughs> Cause I, I come off, it? cause I come off like a hoe, but I'm a loyal hoe. No, but it's <laughs> like, you feel what I'm saying? But okay, so let me let me add a little something too. You ain't gotta okay. take a shot for this, but six months. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I think I be. So I don't believe that. If I ain't believe talk, none of this, I damn for sure I, don't believe talk, no six all months. All the way up to a year. To a year, yeah, you'll get somebody, and then after the year, I'm gonna still hold you down, but I'm gonna let you know, like, I'm gonna be dipping and dabbing. But all the way up to a year, for sure, I know I can, like, 100. So, when it, she come home, you gonna be dipping and dabbing? No, no, we're gonna uh, cut that short just till she get oh. out. You know what I'm saying? I just, I got needs too. You feel what I'm saying? So, a year is how you'll be I could be faithful for, for a year. year, no sex, no so nothing. after a year, you're like, yeah, okay, I might I'm gotta gonna... shake that loose, baby. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So what if she, it's a year, right? But she gotta, I don't know, do parole. Or let's say she gotta go to a halfway house. You gonna be cheating on? Oh no, no, no. She too close to being home. If it's a year and she got two years left, some shit. Then yeah, I'm probably gonna dip once or twice. But even mm. then, it wouldn't be consistent. I'm real big on if I find somebody that, like, I feel like speak to me. Then mm. I, I want, I want to hold that shit down because I really don't fuck with bitches. Mm -hmm. Like, is. I come off like this, and you, you, like I can't be a hoe, but in reality, emotion-wise mm -hmm. and shit, I'm very closed off. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like my brother, I be t I tell my brother I like somebody, he be like, "Bullshit, you don't like nobody." You mm -hmm. lying on oh, God. That's not right. Yeah, Carl like real talk. Right yeah, he like you lying, but that's really how I am. I'm mm -hmm. closed off. So if I find somebody I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to rock out with rock him for with sure. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's not that many. Yeah. People that oh you God. Could just yeah. Everybody with. some bullshit. So yeah. if we connecting. Then like I'm a real nigga, and you know what I'm saying I'm very in tune with myself. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we connecting. Then you on that level too, and a lot of people not like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Most rooms I'm in, I feel like I'm the only nigga in there that's conscious, the only nigga that's aware. Then you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a hard feeling so when i find somebody i can yeah, relate well, you feel to like everybody a bullshit yeah, yeah exactly so when i find somebody that's a real nigga like me like i'm not gonna let sex fuck that up that's crazy mm. yeah you know okay. what i'm saying that's why yeah okay i told you you aware yeah you probably back in with yeah, that one you okay. gave us a break so okay okay, uh, okay. so you go on a date with a girl <laughs> and it's a fine ass bitch right let's okay. say it's your first time kicking it with her yeah but, you know, I love her. a fine bitch. Bro, you see her on Instagram, she fine as fuck. Mm -hmm. Ain't got no flaw. Mm -hmm. Y'all on the day, y'all walking, the whole wig gets snatched by a tree branch. You gonna keep fucking with her? Like, be honest, right? <sighs> That's so embarrassing. It's, it's like, so embarrassing. Why is like, your wig getting snatched? It's but like, it's like, relax. like, you know, like, okay, have you ever walked out of a room with a backpack on? Yeah, and, and, and you get in the door, yeah. catch you. 
But it's like, grow up. Like, why is that but happening it's like, Shy, you can't control that. Ah, that shit embarrassing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but, like, to me, are you going to laugh about it? <laughs> I'm definitely going to laugh. Look. On the first day, oh, hell I'm no. a mingle, but I'm definitely going to laugh. Laugh. I'm okay, gonna so laugh. you going to mingle. Yeah, I'm a mingle. So that's not going to stop you. Nah, like, okay. that's not going to stop me. Now, I ain't going to lie. If she trip or something, I'm going to stay single. Okay, because so why are we tripping. too old for you to be tripping and falling and rolling around? You doing too much. That shit embarrassing, bro. Hell no. Nah. What if she got heels on and she's still? <laughs> You know she how we be buckling a little bit. She could walk in. No, but what if Don't I could wear walk in? Don't nothing with me that's going to buckle. But, Sha, let me, let me, okay, let me put it to you like this. Let me kick it to you like this. <laughs> let me kick it to you like Don't this, Don't wear nothing with me that's going to buckle, man. Yeah, but let me kick it to you like this. Let's say, you know, I'm dressed up, I'm in my heels and uh-huh. shit, we get drunk, you know? Yeah. I'm a little loose. You better sit down. No, but let's say we walk into the car and I might stumble a little bit. No, And babe. my heels thin. No, bitch, take them off. I'm finna carry you a song. That way you gotta you communicate. Would, you gotta okay. tell me, like, but even on the first, even on the like, first day, you gotta tell me, like, my ankles hurting. Cause listen, I'd rather pick you pressure. up than you fall. Because if you fall, it's the last day. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That's but embarrassing. That's pressure, Sean. Like, for real. I'm gonna help you up. <laughs> no, but that's pressure. We gotta be on being like talking and like, I'm feeling that shit. The combo good. Cause anything less than me feeling like you, my soulmate, I'm probably not gonna fuck with you cause I'm embarrassed. <laughs> because I buckle. Because if I fall on the first date, I'm not gonna hit you up anymore. Because I don't want you to know that you was laughing at me and feeling like this goofy ass nigga. You know, booty crack but out like, and shit but don't Shai, fail. You know, how, you know how common that is. Like I'm thinking about it. I would, you fall on a lot of dates. Yeah, I would no, cut your ass off. But I might buckle a little bit. We I would cut drinks. you off. I don't but care why, how you Because look. think about it. Put it like this again. Let me paint it to you. I'm wearing some Tom Ford heels, you know. Them bitches, se- they so skinny. skinny and they skinny, Them hoes is skinny. But they sexy though, right? Yeah. And you want to see your bitch walking this shit. You know nah, I mean? if you fall, I ain't gonna No, lie. but listen, shot before we even get there. Let's say we get into the parking lot, and you know Atlanta ain't got no good ass shit. Yeah, they don't. And we might just... <laughs> Now, if you man. shake a little bit, I go, oh, like, you know what I think it's a way you could do it. Because I think good, it's cute t- to be like, oh, like, yeah, you know, like you, playing to it. You good with me till you hit the concrete. <laughs> And I, I could, you come at anything. Now, what if she but, hit the concrete and her wig fall off? Oh, yeah, she's dead. She might as well delete my number. <laughs> you embarrassed the fuck out of me. You might as well delete my number, man. I'm not going to lie to you. You me. It's crazy. You yeah. really not going to. So, like, that ass, you're not going to get for a second chance. No, because, she, because if, like I said, if I fail, I'm never going to hit the girl up that I fell in front of because I'm so fucking embarrassed that at this grown age, I have fell and not just <laughs> made it to the car walking. I'm embarrassed as fuck, man. No. So, it's a pride thing. Yes, very much so. <sighs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I could I could accept that. Okay, yeah. Because I don't know if I'm going to hit a nigga up after I fall. It's, but you know that It's like when girls see niggas booty cracks, my homegirls oh, always talk that's about, like, they I have the seen crack. a nigga booty crack and shit. Like, that's a deal breaker down well, once there. Once you see a nigga ass it's like, outside of you y'all a fucking, joke. You a fucking like, clown. Like, you show me a booty you crack. you not my man, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> No way you was that comfortable showing me your ass like that. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. Back in the day, right, when I was real deal single, it was niggas that would dead ass get butt ass naked the first time we had sex. Whoa. Why are you that comfortable, sir? Like, what? Why am I seeing your ass I ain't gonna lie. I keep my boxes on, like, the first ten times. I like, feel like, what? don't show me your whole ass, though. Like, like your butt and you a nigga? Like the crack. I don't you need to be pulling that. your ass out. Huh? That's what I'm saying. I don't <laughs> like that. You might need to check him. That, no, <laughs> that kinda, nigga just be pulling his ass out. I was so like, appalled. Like, yes. like you confident. Yes. Like, my whole girl get happy star. when a nigga get, finally get naked around him because they're like, yeah, I know this nigga mm-hmm. comfortable. You feel yeah. me? I'm not getting naked for many reasons. Also, because like, you can't trust a bitch. Like, I'm not going to be naked yeah. in your house. Some niggas busting here or something. I'm like, no. Yeah. I need to have Privacy. some underclothes on. Yeah. Just throw the dick in the pants and go on about my business. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I ain't going to lie. If you get naked too quick in front of me, you a hoe. Yeah, facts. Because you too comfortable. Or gay. Yeah, but you just too comfortable. Can you Pulling your ass out? Like, I don't like that. that. That's weird. It's weird as fuck. Yes. For real. Okay, so let me see. <laughs> you got me sweating that alcohol. Oh. oh. No, me too. Me too. Okay, damn. And I already know the answer. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead and pull your shot. I up. might fuck Cause... your brain up. I might change oh, it a little bit. Lord. I'm mad because nah, you are Nah, what you say, I ain't gonna lie, I be standing on business. <laughs> I'm standing on, on business. business. That's good. Yeah, that's okay. straight. Thank you. All right, so this is going to be the My last My daughter going to be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you walking sideways and shit. <laughs> what's wrong with you? All right. Okay, so last question. Okay, okay. 
So you're having sex with your girl, and it's a good sex session. Yeah, like, it's, it's always good with me. Ooh, it, but I'm talking about this one different. That, like, it's this, blowing it's your always, mind. My name, you know what my real name is? What? Y- unique. You know mm. what I mean? Unique. I'm special. It's different. Mm. Everything with me hit. Because you talking about. Mm. Mm. That's a nice ass name. Uh, okay, I like it. <laughs> but... You know, you with your girl. Mm-hmm. And it's passionate. Like, this yeah. night is different. Out of all I'm the nights y'all... I'm down to the flow. I'm saying it's just passionate. Standing up in that shit. Period. Ooh. Everything. And, you know, he turns to you real sexy and says, All right, baby, I want... It's my turn. I want to penetrate you. Oh, what what she using to penetrate me? You know, like fingers? Mm-mm. A dildo. Uh, oh, no. Fingers I would be cool with. Like, if I'm really? in love with a girl or I love a girl or even if I like a girl a bunch then i'm cool with that you know what i'm saying like really? i'm not no fucking touch me not yeah like i'm a woman i'm grown as fuck you feel what i'm saying but you what ask me Go you ahead. wouldn't do that like no you, the only so does it not like pleasure you like or is i never just, had it so i don't know but i think I mentally and shit. That. yeah no virgin i went to jail You're very virgin? young i got out i've been with a woman yeah my brother's sitting right there he gonna vouch wow. i went you gotta think i went to jail when i was 13. Mm. i stayed in there all the way till i was 19. I no, got Michelle, out. That's so sweet, I got though. in a relationship. So I do plan on having sex once, mm-hmm. but it's going to be with my wife. Like, if my wife is like, you know, let me do this one time, then I'm with that. So but, you will let her break your Yeah, that's, that's, that's my wife. We together for the rest of my life. I plan on being married one time. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But outside of that, it's not happening. That's definitely. But bitch, but not even ask me that. I'm not talking to you no more. And see, because that's why crazy. Would you ask me now that, that you I think that about happening. it, because, like, relationships with your partner's aversion is very rare. But yeah. in some situations yeah. with lesbian relationships. Yeah. And That's girls common. love it. Girls love it. Like when I tell them, and then see a lot of things, a lot of stuff. Oh, shout! Do you think you know I'm a virgin? <laughs> yeah, they love it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then like a lot of stuff aren't comfortable, so or uh-huh. dice, whatever. They lie about it because you mm. know maybe if I was free, it's like a nigga lying. If yeah. I was free during my teenage years, maybe I would have had sex with one man. Mm. I doubt it would have been two, three, four. You feel what I'm saying? But you had a white boy in your ass. Yeah, like. Ah! So I probably would have had sex with one person to try it. Mm-hmm. But because I got out of jail grown, it's like, yeah. why the fuck, fuck would am I, I doing it double back and, you know, and see if I like Can it? I I'm grown as hell. Go ahead. Did you have sex in jail? Yeah, a bunch of it. What? I was fucking them hoes down. Man, yeah, I was making fake dicks and all, man. Oh, I was fucking them hoes down, man. Because, you know, there's some people you that's take, watching this on the little, track phone right now. Boom, you take a pencil, right? So you take the pencil, you know, pencil a good length. You start wrapping that bitch with different shit. You can wrap it with pads, tissue, whatever. And you know, even with soft stuff, if you wrap it enough, it ends up getting hard. You feel what I'm saying? Then you put a glove or a saran wrap on that motherfucker. Look, you see my dog bouncing his head. He understand the science. No, he understand like, the, the science. You feel what I'm saying? So once you do that, you know what I'm saying? You connect it to your bosses, whatever you got. And you throwing that shit just like if you at home. Yeah, and I'm a dick layer for sure. Like, you know, you tied around. See, in real life, you got a say, harness. How does it... In real life, it's a harness. Like, in the free world. So I'm, I'm laid back. What the <laughs> fuck? In the free world, it's a harness. And you just connect yeah. different dicks to it. You feel what I'm saying? It fit on you like if you go on bungee jumping or something. Like, it pull up like oh, boxes. When you say different dicks, it's giving like, I want a little dick today. Because I was never a little dick, dick but. <laughs> some girls, some girls like, like, like thicker dicks. Some okay, girls like, like girl, longer okay, dicks. Okay. So you get what you want over here, baby. It's Burger King. Have it your way. You feel what I'm saying? Have it your way. Do Look, that. I just I just asked a bitch the other day, like, what kind of dick you like? Like, so I go buy that oh! shit. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So I get the dick that you like. You feel no, me? No, that's some real <laughs> shit, like, bro. Okay. Yeah, you okay. know what I'm saying? You like a hook. See, with a nigga, you stuck with what he Yeah, got. whatever you got. You like a dick with a hook in it? I'm finna go get a hook dick. dick. You know what I'm saying? You want you some Ooh. some thick shit that's, Let that's me find not that long, bro. Man, you want come too. on. And see, I care about the pussy, so I'm like, I'm not a cheap nigga. So I'm not getting no plastic shit. Like, I'm getting real feel, real skin, silicone <laughs> Dicks, you feel what I'm saying? I'm ordering shit offline, or I'm going down in the city and spending two, three, four hundred dollars on a dick. Oh, you, you ain't playing by the dick. Yeah, I'm not getting no fifty dollar dick. Are you shitting me? Are I'm gonna tear that pussy up. Me? No, come on, no, man. No, for real though, where you get your dicks from? People <laughs> want to know that. <laughs> like, where are you? I be ordering from this place online, or uh, Doc Johnson, or Tokyo is a good place. It's downtown uh-huh. Atlanta. It's a great place. They got a lot of selections. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And if you really freaky, you go downstairs, upstairs, and meet they a motherfucker. Man, oh, where you could where you can watch people do their thing. 
Yeah. Oh, my God. Swear, swear. Man, it's open 24 hours. I want to know. We got to take this shot so you can keep talking. Wait, did I, mean, I think, did I mingle? What did you ask me? No, you oh, said no, you I said single. No, yeah, let you want to penetrate, that. yeah. Yeah, because that's a lie. I don't need no confusion. Okay. Don't come over here thinking you're going to do something. Okay. Damn, yeah, Shy. You like talking to me? Yeah, like, what I tell are. you. Like, okay, okay. It's okay, though, because we're we going to end this segment off. But we gonna talk. Yeah, we, we need to do really a second episode. Yeah, I'm y'all just want, gonna say, run it back say, with me, man. If y'all want another episode? Y'all put run it in back the with comments. me. I'm telling you, nah, run it back for real. with me. Okay, period. So this is our very, very last segment. Y'all want to get the likes? So this is the last segment. You know, we already drunk. We already got the drinks in our oh, system. Good. It's getting hot in here. You know, I had to take my jacket off a little bit earlier. But it's called one eight hundred Tame. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna read a story. Tell me, mm-hmm. you know that's me, right? <laughs> so what's gonna happen is I'm going to read a story. Okay. And we're gonna have to give advice. Okay. All right, let's do it. So this is the story. It's called. Well, this is the title. Okay. How do I tell my friend that her husband has been cheating on her with me and that I'm pregnant? Isn't me. Damn, they better know how to fight. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so the story goes, I'm done living like this. I want to tell her despite us wanting to keep this a secret. I don't want to continue living a lie, and she deserves better than both of us. The thing is, I just don't know how I'm supposed to tell her. I'm going through a roller coaster of emotions right now. I'm also pregnant, and her husband is the one that got me pregnant. Bitch, you wrong for that. Through the personal convictions, I'm going to keep this baby. Please, I need advice on how to tell her and how I can soften the news in any way possible. Whew. I'm be real with you. It's not really no soft way to deliver that. It's not. They, you got to be expecting for her to go AWOL because it doesn't matter what you say, what your explanation is. You cross your dog and then you took it as far as to like fucking somebody nigga is one thing. To be fucking somebody nigga raw is crazy. crazy. Especially somebody that you post to love, was that conceived you friends out of with. That. Yeah, exactly. So um you just gotta be ready to, you know, stand on your shit and admit that you wrong and say, you know, I fucked up. I don't mm. expect you to be my friend. How could we be friends after right. this? But you I am lose sorry and I do know I fucked up, you know, and I'm keeping my baby. You know what I'm saying? Like right. that's really a situation is that fucked up is nothing you could do to get out of that mm -hmm. you can't how do i tell you in a nice way that i fuck not only man. fucked your nigga but i let him get me pregnant and we friends that's not a soft I'm way i'm thinking of 10 ways i'm gonna kill that bitch yeah, facts, right now facts. and honestly to be real with you like unless you could squabble i damn near wouldn't say nothing in person like i'm almost yeah, gonna call you because i know what it's gonna be and but i'm do pregnant you think be real if she texted you though I mean, why it's for her I, protection. Yeah, but why, exactly. Saying, though, like, why would, would I you physically take it come say that to you, knowing we finna get into it and I got a baby in my stomach? And I've already said I'm keeping a baby. You're right, you're right. So it, well, a text message is disrespectful. Definitely would have to be a phone call. Yeah. Have to be a phone call. It has to be a phone call. Yeah, and you just gotta, you can't really make excuses and shit. You just, I you fucked stand up. on what you did. Yeah, I like this nigga and I like this nigga more than I like our friendship because that's what it comes down to. It, that's what it was. At the end of the day. That's if what it was. If you pick your nigga, your homegirl nigga, you like that nigga more than you like the friendship. Right. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna be real with you. Shit like that, like, I would not almost fuck with the person because. Like, when my dogs or my family or somebody feel some type of way about somebody, I automatically don't even see them in that light. Mm. Like, it could be a bitch, like, that I think is fine as hell. And, then, you know, I, I talk to my partner and my partner, like, oh, I, I used to like that bitch. She not fine to me no more. Like, you fine, yeah. but the attraction, me wanting to jump your bones it's, is no longer dead. there. So it's I can't gone. really associate myself with, you know, people that rock like that. So I'm going to give yeah. you advice, and I'm going to cut your ass off, too. Yeah, I agree. I think at the end of the day, bitch, be ready to lose a friend. Yeah. Because you was dead ass wrong. A couple. Because I, cause I feel like yeah. even after that, anybody who fuck with you is kind of, they kind of iffy. Because it's like, if mm -hmm. you got a spouse, then you in trouble. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's a real shit. Because she ain't say her man. She said her husband. Yeah, like a husband. husband. Like y'all done took the vows and everything. A husband, That's a yeah. little crazy. Like, yeah, you can't break no relationship between a couple and God. Yeah. That's crazy. Even like right now with me being where I'm at, I would never talk to a married woman. That's crazy as fuck to me. Yeah. If you want to cheat, That's bitch, I be telling people I break up apartments, not homes. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I fuck with a nigga bitch. I won't fuck with a nigga wife. Wife. 
fuck no. Because a nigga will fuck with my bitch. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, this karma, and, and, and a nigga shit. probably fuck with my wife too, but I don't want to have them issues with God. And you it's karma. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's yeah. deeper. Yeah. When you bring fuck marriage yeah. into all yeah, that, it's like somebody. We said we're going to be together the rest of our life. Like, like you feel what I'm saying? I said you over anything, and then I'm going to lay down mm. you lay down with your folk. No, that's, that's, that's lame. That's dead ass wrong. Yeah, that that's lame. dead ass wrong. And I know niggas, like, I ain't going to lie. I done talked to niggas that's like, oh, yeah, I used to fuck so and so wife. Yeah. Your wife gonna get fucked next. Yeah, on God, on God. Like, that's I just how that shit works. Cause sure. marriage is so sacred in God's eyes that you can't man. be doing yeah. it. I don't give a fuck if the bitch lied yeah. and said she ain't had no husband. Once you yeah, find out that she, she was lying and she yeah, had a husband, fact. you kept fucking. Like, you gotta think, like, these folk went to the, even for people that's not, like, super religious, like, these people still took it upon themselves to dedicate a day to what they got going on, mm. which means that they take this shit too hard. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You, when you marry somebody, you essentially saying, you what I want forever. Why mm. would I want to mess that up? And if it's messed up, let it fall apart by itself. You feel what I'm saying? And hey. I mean forever, ever. Yeah. Forever, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said I only plan on getting married once, man. Like, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying? That shit, I don't, I don't play with shit like that. A lot of lesbians, yeah. I feel like, when marriage became legal, they just ran out and did it. Like, I know, like, 50 people that don't been divorced. Mm. And it's like, damn, gay marriage ain't even been legal that long. That long what the fuck are y'all doing? Yeah. But it's because niggas was just running out and doing it because they was happy they could do it. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But I don't play like that. You mm. feel me? It's just like all like studs love claiming or dykes love claiming people babies. Like, bitch, you ain't got all them kids. What you doing? Uh, stop playing with me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I claim one kid. You know what I'm saying? And it's from my <laughs> eight year relationship. Baby. Yeah, and I would tell a girl, quit. Like, as soon as we mm -hmm. fuck around, like, them is not my kids. kids. As soon as we start fucking around, bitch. Now, if we get in a relationship and it go, it go. Then, of course, right. they're my stepkids. Because if, if I was a nigga, you, then, yeah, a, they would yeah. be my stepkids. But I'm not itching to, to have, have a bunch have of kids because right. I want to be a nigga that bad. Fuck no. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I see that. I see that. So, my final statements. Mm hmm Gonna lose a Francis. But just just tell the truth. Yeah, facts. Stand on the fact that what you did, what you did. Yeah. Yeah, because if you're bold you enough to fuck somebody's husband, you definitely got to be bold enough to... Stand on all yeah, that hell shit. That's yeah, why yeah. I you said, knew what you were doing. That shit. Some shit not a mistake. Like, stop not. it. That's not no mistake. That was a conscious thought to fuck your friend's husband. So, yeah, you got to stand on that shit for sure. I'm sorry, sis. I don't know what it is to tell you. And, and make sure you can fight, too. And if you can't have somebody <laughs> with you when you would do gotta that news, baby. Got to have some squabble game. Okay, period. Teach your man how to squabble, baby. Because it's going to get real to, serious. Oh, but I had fun this episode. Yeah, me too. I liked it. I fuck with you. Yeah, you you my dog. I ain't gonna lie. Like before real. before we met and then before we you know we had a little conversation, shit, I respect I respect people wishes and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But you 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 my dog. But before all that, I told my brother, I was like, damn, she look good. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like on oh, Jesus Christ. But now I'm just like like this my dog, you like my sister mm -hmm. now, you feel what I'm saying? It's so you can you can feel bitch. comfortable around me, you feel me? You yeah. feel me? I'm not I'm not on that. I respect nah, I what's going you. on. I appreciate you my folks. It. I like I your energy, you I like this your vibe. Was a, I said, this is a great conversation. Yeah. Yeah, everybody in here, I learned sure. a lot. Yeah. Y'all get in them comments and tell her, uh, get a session two with the young niggas. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of more shit to say. You feel what I'm saying? And I felt that. I feel like she wanted to come out some more. Yeah. We had to be respectful of time. Yeah. Y'all tell me to wrap it up and shit. Yeah. But listen. And make sure y'all follow nigga on Instagram, on underscore shy. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. By the time it's dropping January, I'll probably be on your TV anyways. Fuck with me. Oh, Shout right. out to Let's Mingle, you feel me? Ooh, yeah. If you're a real nigga, you're supposed to be on Let's Mingle. I said it once, mm -hmm. I said it again. Let's do it. And we got everybody drunk in here, too. Yeah. Good. But that concludes today's episode. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. You guys make sure that you come and comment, like, subscribe to the channel, put on that bell. Well, turn the bell button. Y'all, I'm drunk as hell. Y'all already know how the end of the episodes go. But <laughs> turn the bell button on so y'all get a new notification every time we drop. We will be dropping weekly. I love you guys. Make sure you follow us at the Let's Mingle Podcast on Instagram. Like I said, we're going to be dropping new heat. We're dropping new shit, and we're going to get it right. And I will see you guys on the next week. Take me. Uh, Let's Mingle. And we out this beat. Period.